Okay, George. What happened? What do you mean? What do you mean? Jack just came out of there saying he left the barn. Oh, oh yeah, we were about to come tell you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, Sorry for like rushing in like that though. I was like, what the fuck? That's okay. What? Yeah, I didn't get the chance to get the deputy to clean it up. I assume Jack's already left. Yeah. He just, he came back at a bad time, you know, everything was a bit crazy. He needs some time to get back into things here before, before he really gets into what we're in the middle of, you know. It makes sense. Yeah. He even said, you know, uh, somewhere down the line, we need uh, an extra hand here and there. He'd be more than willing to give it. It's just, he needs some time. Nothing against any of us. He just doesn't want the heat on him right now. Not for a little while at least. Mm. He also brought me a note from Caleb, who I know neither of you have probably met. I met Caleb. You did meet Caleb, okay. Well, Caleb's out. He, uh... His life's taking him elsewhere. He doesn't have time to be here to help us out. <laughs> it's understandable. I've only seen him in the last two months. He was one of my original guys from the beginning. He did disappear for a while, and a few months back we had to save his life from someone who was trying to kill him, and he just hasn't really recovered from it. It makes sense. It means we got a couple open spots. And, you know, there's, uh, there's a chance we can try someone new out, or... I don't know. We'll figure things out. <laughs> Willard's coming back around soon anyway. He's another one of my original guys. He's been with me for uh, over a year. You'll all get to meet him soon enough. He just uh, typically didn't have a lot of time on his hands. You know, he'd show up for a few he days did. here and there. But he'll be back around more permanently soon. How is you? Like I say, there's a couple extra slots to fill, so... You doing okay? If we hear of anyone who's looking at work or wants to try their hands at what we do, we can at least make an offer to them. Tim's around a little bit more. I'm okay with that too, yeah. I promise I won't obnoxiously flirt with her all the time. I don't think you can keep that promise. I appreciate the uh, gesture. I can keep that promise. Okay. I don't know what tips can do when it comes to this kind of thing we... It's... It's also to have a room that I'm fine to see. Yeah. I think maybe we can uh, head into the city, make some telegrams. We've got a lot of people that we all need to meet. We've got a lot <clears throat> of shit that we can sort out. Yep. Let's see if we can send some telegrams and see who's around for us to do that stuff tonight. I might need to rest my throat a little bit. I've been talking a lot. <clears throat> can you pull that note down on a placement later? I guess it's a good thing and I'll go around to Adam Jack to it. 
Should we still invite? She's sleeping. Oh, perfect. You know, we were, uh, I was just gonna go tell the gummy. Howdy, Tims. Good morning. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, no, I just, uh, I was looking at job boards, so I came into town and then I seen you guys here, so I figured I'd stop by. I love Would how you, you inoculate uh, me of all people. Would you like to keep us in company or are you busy today? I can keep you some company. Yeah, me busy? <laughs> I'm never busy. I only sit through like 20 meetings a day. <laughs> all right, we're about to go uh, book about 20 meetings. You want to join? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing I'm good at. Oh. <laughs> Listening. All right, All right what then. kind of meetings? <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see, see who's handle, around. Yeah. yeah. I hope you're feeling a little bit better. I can talk a little bit more than I could yesterday, but still painful. Of course. Hopefully, I'll, it'll just keep getting better the more That's I talk. Good. She cut out my internet today. That was mm -hmm. fun. She accidentally pulled the Ethernet cable out. Tibbs, we have a wager running. You want to join in? Okay, so if you want to join the wager, you got to give me what your wager is quietly, because it, it's Julio. But Julio has been awake since 1 a.m. Eastern Star, so we're taking bets on <laughs> when he's going to finally go to bed or fall asleep. Uh, okay. So if you want to join that wager, it's a $50 wager. You don't pay until uh, until somebody wins, and just tell me what your wager is quietly, because we don't want him knowing what everybody's guesses on. We'll yeah. stop at the uh, wagon shop on the way out of town, Julio. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sorry, I August was that. talking when you uh, <laughs> said you needed to stop. I will, uh, I will, I will really put something to that. Let me think, I suppose. Uh, when, you guys, when you guys find the fuck out, I'm a fucking degen. <laughs> She's, yeah, she's a blue nose. She's a blue Can confirm. Only slept three hours. Literally, when I told, well, literally, when I told August I was going to bed, I literally went to bed. And then I woke up three hours later and said, fuck. Sam's on his way to the slums. Hello, so cute. Bye. outside in the hallway. God dang him. Yeah, China's perfect. So we're just watching the law. There's a good chance the law's about to try and grab me. I know. 
August. Yeah, I see him. Where are they? Uh, and they're over by the docks. There's that group of horses that I'm facing right there. That's Get okay. out of here. It's, it's okay. Go. Back to sort of house. I didn't mean to get on your horse. We're looking at his binoculars. Julio needs to hurry the fuck up. Where is he? Hey, he's coming. I don't uh, see him following. Is, no, I don't see him following. Check these trunks though, because they might have taken the trunks. No following. <clears throat> Do we want to stop at the wagon shop or straight to the salons? Let's head to Emerald. Julio, can you do your wagon stuff in Emerald? Fine. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, Sam's right. like heading yeah, to the slaughterhouse. Oh shit, we'll wait for Sam, the slaughterhouse first. Uh yeah, so August is still wanted. Do you know where he was coming from? Uh Valentine. Okay, so yeah, we'll wait for him. Uh, um yeah, August is still wanted. Uh Julio is as well, but not as much as August is. And that's about it in this group right now. Because Hathaway got out of Cisco yesterday. George also got out of Cisco yesterday. Um, Who was that? I don't know, but I'm watching. And Sam, who's currently on his way here, is, is also more alone. Seems like it. I'm not sure. It might not be bad to just go straight to Emerald and telegram Sam where we're going. What did you say, no saga? <clears throat> I said, uh, might not be a bad idea to uh, go to Emerald and telegram Sam where we're going. Yeah. He's not gonna head to telegrams though, he's gonna wait here for quite some time. Um, also, Blackjack is out in the field. That way, I'm looking at him. That's fine. <clears throat> That's if, just, if Law shows up, I can talk out of it, it's okay. Uh, no. So, when I stopped streaming is when I logged out. Uh, my chronic fatigue hit me really bad, I was feeling really sick, um, so we still need to grab a deputy, but we need- we're looking for specific ones, is the problem. <clears throat> I don't know what's taking him so long, he sent that telegram 20 minutes ago. Okay, if you sent it that long ago, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go to Emerald. still fucking wanted so badly as well, though. Um, one was Clockwork, one was Nadia, I believe. I couldn't recognize your last one. I just saw the shiny badges. 
What did you think I just said? And he's also still very well okay. as well. Yeah. All right. I thought you heard something else. I'm just, I was about to say who I thought they were as you said them. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that's why I'm worried because he sent it 20 minutes ago. <laughs> they didn't have anyone with them, did they? No, they didn't have anybody. Do you want me to wait at the slaughterhouse? Because I'm not wanted. No, we'll just, we'll telegram him. We should, uh, we should go to Valentine. Hmm. What if they have him in a cell? Okay, I'll go there. We're going to Valentine. It's been fine all day, now it's suddenly hurting. Let's go quickly, August. Come on, let's do it. <clears throat> go straight, straight, straight. She passes that best. Oh, yeah. Tibbs, welcome to riding with us. He finally crashed. <laughs> That's my fault. There wasn't enough tension. Tibbs, I don't think what you're saying. Everybody who rides with us crashes the horse. Well. <laughs> It's a bit of a curse for us. It's um, everyone who rides with us ends up crashing. Do you want to send the telegram to Sam and I'll go look for him? I'd stay the other way around. You want me to send the telegram? Yeah, yeah, I'll go take a look at your, uh, your telegram quickly.
those things for you, everything, all right? in Strawberry and Blackwater, but only... Anything? Hmm. Nothing over there. I've got a telegram there. Sorry, I didn't see chat in time. He said he had a large headache. I'm gonna tell him to meet us when we're planning on going. Okay. A large headache and saying that maybe he's heading back this way to to meet his end.
So fucking weird. Oh, come here. Let's make that wager about Julio. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. All right. I don't know what anyone else picked in terms uh, of time. I'll give you the times. Okay. Uh, August picked nine. I picked nine B. All right. Uh, so Pathway picked seven Eastern stars. I picked nine Eastern stars. George picked nine thirty Eastern stars. I'm gonna go in the middle. Okay, eight. All right. I have you down for eight. <laughs> I don't know. Not thirty's calling to me. I can watch him to live all of us here. Oh my god, that's bad if he does. Did you tell oh, Tibbs about the, uh, the oh, other yeah. wager? Oh, Sam, I have a wager for you to get in on if you want it. But, okay. Um, so we had a wager earlier for how long it would take George to say meat hole when he came back from mining, and it took him all of two minutes. So okay. I won forty dollars. Uh, but come here, Sam, because this is this is a wager for Julio, and so we don't oh want him here in all of our God. wagers. Come here. Jesus fucking Christ. So Julio has been awake since 1 a.m. Eastern stars. Why? Uh, cause apparently he couldn't sleep. <clears throat> he says okay. he's gonna pull an all night. Okay. <clears throat> um, so the wager amount is, you know, you don't have to pay it to somebody wins, but it's fifty dollars. Okay. Uh, Hathaway said 7 Eastern Stars, I said 9 Eastern Stars, George said 9.30 Eastern Stars, and Tip said 8 for when Julio finally passes out. He's been up since 1? 1 a.m. You know what? I'm going to be brave. I'm going to say 1. Uh, a.m.? Yep. Let's go one for one. Uh, also, we're doing uh, wagers on when we think the next weapons crate will be pulled from the bank job. <clears throat> uh, Julio says March 7th. George said uh, February 14th. Hathaway said April 1st. I said April 15th. This one's a $100 wager. When's the next bank? Uh, I'm not too sure. I know Hathaway and I are doing one on the 14th. Together, just us. I'm gonna say that one. Okay. That's what George said. And so whoever wins gets, gets the, the crate, right? No, whoever wins gets the money from the wager. Oh no, I think I like my idea better. Yeah, no, we decided against that one. Okay. Uh, then I will do... The 17th. Alright. 17th of February. Yep. Okay. Alright. Uh, and I think at some point Hathaway's doing a wager on the next time I rob, Le rob Levi, but that's not going in the book till it's over. Okay. So that way I can't see what everybody's uh, wagers on. Alright. He, uh, he eats very similar to, I, to how I eat. Who? Uh, Shay? Cormac? 
Is that his name? I don't know. Is that his last name? That's the only Shay I know. It's a problem. It's pro problem no, it's Shay Murphy. Oh, okay. Yeah, when he was eating my suit, he went like. That's kind of like something Adelaide does. Right. You haven't met Adelaide, have you? No, probably not. Adelaide. Oh boy. She'd probably fall in love with him. Honestly. I think they'd fall in love with each yeah. other. Probably. We should have a mate. I have her telegram. Oh yeah? <laughs> oh lord. Oh yeah? You know, just the only problem George is Tommy Two Snakes comes back. That, that fella's dead, gotta be. Uh, I, I mean, I heard he just kind of disappeared. Hey, is that the woman who punched my horse? Oh, I don't believe so. I was in Rhodes and I thought I saw a dip in a pump. But it turned out to just be a ranger with a garment rifle. Oh. Um, we were in Saint Denis, and an ass group of law sat by telegrams watching us and binocular me, so we left. Hmm. Uh, I, you I mean, you do kind of look like yourself. Yeah, I know. That's. I, I stopped caring. Um. But, uh. I still need to pick up Olia today. Oh, you didn't get get to that yesterday? Uh, no, because I couldn't find them at all. They kept I kept being told they weren't around, and then the only time I found Chev, she was laying her head down. I'm not gonna force somebody to stay awake. Yeah. All right. You know what's funny? We switched to wearing green all the time, and green was my disguise color because I never wore it. Poor baby. Oh, thank you, August. I appreciate you being me. I, thank you, yes. Poor, poor me, yes. What are you pointing at? My, my arm twitched up, I'm sorry. Whoa, what the fuck, George? Your coat's actually like really fuck nice. What the hell? Oh, yeah, it doesn't look good. It's got like vines and shit on it. Also, howdy, Tibbs. He's, uh, how did everything go? Hi. It was good. I feel like a grandma. Um, you do not hey, hey, look buddy. Like a grandma. Hey, Sam. How you doing? I um. Good to see you up. I have to stay somewhat out of trouble for a couple days. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, here, son. come here. Had me worried there, man. Um, I'm gonna take care of a thorn in the side soon, very soon. Okay, that one is a Barton. Let's see, uh, and I need to be there because I would like to be the one. Uh, do you mind if I go halfway over to that season and enjoy that alone? Okay, is that okay with you? That's fine. Uh, Hathaway, come here. I'm about to make your day. I have asked that they at least give me that, considering I've been waiting on everyone else. Yeah, that makes sense. Terrible timing, but okay. Oh, shit. So... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you need to go talk to them. Go for it. No, no, it's good. Carry on. <laughs> I was just... I, I, sorry, I have to stay a little bit out of trouble right now, because I need to be around for something. We're going to... Uh, we're going to take care of Miss Martin. Okay. Specifically, I would like you the one to take care of Mr. Barton. I asked as much. So I was just telling her that I, I gotta... But she said you would like to hear that. I don't really know what all you guys have with them, but I, uh... Uh, it's old business with us. But... Out of curiosity, Tibbs, why'd you drag August over here alone to tell her that? What's wrong with them hearing it? Nothing. I think it was just everybody was having a conversation. So she wanted to Yep. Get Fair enough. 
Is that not the same? I'm um, talking to you, checking in on you, so. And I felt like I was talking over you guys. Washing my injury is what he was doing. He said it was a hug, but it hurt. A hug's okay. supposed to hurt. Hugs are not supposed to, I mean, I can, I'm not gonna, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we have old business with Barton, but. To be fair, yeah. this is quite old, too. This has been stemming for months. But I was asked to hold off. So I've been holding off. And I said to Shay the other day, I said, Shay, I've had plenty of chances. Do I still have to hold off? Well, fair enough. I hope, uh, I hope you get it done and you don't get hurt during any of it. Tibbs, there. As far as I've heard, they're pretty dangerous people. I know, they're extremely dangerous people. But I'm not too worried about it. I think we'll be okay. Good. But yeah, if, um, if it's a bit dangerous for you to be riding around with us right now, then yeah, I understand that. No, I'm fine. Oh, okay. She I just, you know, I think would have to just be on the outskirts or remove, excuse herself if, you know, for when we kidnap Golian. I mean... That's fair. Does it matter oh, if oh, I don't oh, get cold? Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, never mind. I'll take it back. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, just cover your face up. You'll be fine. What? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, do that. Oh, okay. We're going to go hurt some I'm going to go see what's going on. This man talk about the motion of the ocean. Get him away from me. Huh? Again. What? Uh, okay. Anyway. The only time, only time I'm gonna know anything about the motion of the ocean when someone takes my. Hang on. I'm, I'm gonna you check my me. telegrams and ignore what I just heard. Ow. <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, it's not the first time I've heard the ocean. What? What? Yeah, the way. I'm sorry. Huh? I just said anyway. Okay. Uh, oh, I thought you said my name. I'm sorry. It's, it's no, very I said similar. anyway. Right. Yep. Mm. It did sound like you said Hathaway. Yeah. Yeah, that I said anyway. The start of the word got caught in your throat a little bit, so. Probably. I just assumed. Um, Julio, you said you wanted us to talk with this Gwen person at some point, right? Mm hmm. But she's not, I don't think she's awake right now. Okay. Um, has anyone else got anything we need to, uh, to talk to anyone to about and deal with? In. Okay, I guess we can ride around and figure that out. Aren't you only making her look, uh... Yeah, yeah. she's got some mess to go. Sorry, yeah. Sam, I, um... Thanks for the hug, buddy, it just hurt a little bit, you know? Oh, Thank you for That's the gifted sub, Dandy. Uh, does anybody have any pistol ammo they could spare? Like handgun ammo? That reminds me, I would we like can, to get uh, more. Grab some. We're probably gonna be going town to town right now, anyway. I'm guessing. I mean, hmm. If there's something else we need to do, we can just passively look for Olian. <laughs> I mean, if we're, we're gonna be going town to town regardless, I'm assuming, for how we usually operate. We're, we're, we're just gonna be waiting for telegrams, to be honest. I'd send a bunch. We usually see Olia in... Roots. ...on Valentine. But yeah, Olia's usually in Roots. I've sent telegrams. We just have to wait to hear back from certain people. Did anyone mention anything to you yet, Am? Uh, no. Jack brought a letter from Glib. The letter was just about Caleb needing to step away for some time. His path's taking him in a different direction, and he's leaving the bond. Again. Who is? I mean, makes sense. It does. I think I've seen him 
collective of two times since Faye and Kyle's wedding. Same. Well, he's out, but uh, so's Jack. He's kind of came back at a bad time when shit's pretty heavy for us, and he just needs to take things a bit slow. Really? Yeah, that's what he said. We did kind of throw him into the thick of it right from the get-go, so... I understand, I guess, you know. The heat ain't always to everybody's liking. Some folk are more used to a uh, more yeah, tempered climate. Today. I'm doing your work, but I hope you have a good day today. August, you're better at remembering this than I am. Where are we at, Aldo? With us five Eight. and James? Is <clears throat> that everyone? Or we are Willard and Eight Creed, total. I guess. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Did did we at least get the, the loot from, from Jack? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hathaway has your payout, by the way, for the balance yeah. in cash. Oh, okay. I just need to give them the gems so we can pay everybody out for that. You gave me them earlier. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay, yeah, did let's... Uh, let's go to the wagon. Go gym. with you. Let's go with you didn't. Uh, let's check my wagon and double check. You definitely did. Don't worry. I've got okay. them. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you gave me them and the gold. Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, yeah. But yeah, Sam, so okay. the way has your payout. All right. I, I put it all on red for you, buddy. Oh, thanks, uh, man. You know exactly I what I want. Do, do you know the math of it? Do you need me to give you the math of it? Because I did it. 350 from a safe. 170 from the bonds, 144 from the gems. Okay. Alright, perfect. We need to pay everyone out for the gems. We didn't pay anyone yet. Actually, it's just George and Sam, if Jack's already stepped away. Uh, I guess so. Julio's already been paid? Julio wasn't there. Oh wait, that's right, you weren't there, Julio. Nope. Yeah, all right. Okay. So I guess um, that's, that cut gets bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger for everyone, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, is Jack not collecting half of the cut? I has already walked. 40 for each of you. Mm -hmm. All right. He took the money from the ash and the bonds, but that's for it. For the gifted sub once more. Alright. Thank you for meeting my sub goal. I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, August. I need you to make all the decisions. Go ahead, because my throat is killing me. Alright, okay. Um, we are going to... I suppose go through the roads. I'm gonna check telegrams real fast. We're gonna go through the roads, see if Olya is there. Because Olya is primarily in roads. And if she's not in roads, we will pick another town. Probably Blackwater section, Olya and Blackwater a couple times. Um, let me go check telegrams. Stop at the saloon to grab some stews. Yeah. I'm gonna ride with you for a minute if that's okay. Sure. Okay, I'm um, stopping at the saloon here so everybody can get stews if they need. I do need to go to the 
uh, wagon real quick. Oh yeah, okay, so saloon and then wagon shop. I do what? Saloon and then wagon shop. The what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Go get your fucking stews. Can you get me two? Big stretch, big stretch. We're gonna need a water suit because I think I'm almost out of water in my water bottle. Yeah, we got some left, but not a ton. We had a double shot of espresso this morning. Espresso, so we're vibing. Yeah, well. Hey guys, yeah. law's coming. Like, like that's that's very bad. Law's coming. Um, I mentioned uh, some people stopped by Slaughterhouse last night while you were all out. This is uh, Robert on the left, Siggy in the middle, and this is Lawrence. I'm going to call you Lawrence, okay? <laughs> that's perfectly fine. Um, usually, only the, oh, usually only the ladies call me that. Alright, people up in here? Nice to, nice to meet you. <laughs> Howdy, Reuben. Howdy. Laws oh, coming. Uh, I'm just gonna make this very clear. It's just me right here, and I have no intention to rest in any folk. That's a good Thanks, move. I'm Reuben. just gonna get some food into the park. Sure. I'm gonna ask you guys for your food and leave the ranch, please. Absolutely. Oh. Why is that? Because I have business to tend to here. I do. I do. You got your friends coming down? No. Like I said, I'm alone here. But I was certainly like, uh, this place to be clean. You know, of any, you uh, see bad Olya names. today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No, no, today. Why? I just need to have a conversation with her. Good one, bad one. Good one. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, it was good to see all you guys again. I have her telegram. Yes. Take uh, care. Not okay. Make, uh, oh. better introduction. Thanks. What's your name anyway? I don't remember my name, Ruben. I'm a little disappointed. Think you'd remember when you've taken shots at someone, Ruben? Come on now. I if I got on my horse, you'd shoot at me, and you did, and we also stole your horse. Oh! Oh, I'm just kidding. I thought it was that I arrest <laughs> and shoot at people pretty much every day of my life, okay? Mm -hmm. Kind of my career. Not yeah, the worst choice you've ever made. Time. Listen, uh, I gave you an option. I gave you an order. You put it. It's on you. That's your responsibility. Your shit shot, though. Well, I guess you should be thankful for that then, huh? Should I be thankful or should you? <laughs> I mean, either way. You folk could probably either get to rob me, shoot me, kidnap oh, me. No, you're not worth it. I have uh, more no. things to deal with today. Oh, that's good news then. <clears throat> Besides, I'm, uh, I'm a little confused though, Ruben. Why are you uh, coming down to Emerald all on your own, throwing your weight around, saying you need the place cleared out? Because this place is becoming more of a, uh, a place of prosperity. But where's the office going? The offers? Office. The office. <laughs> oh, the office. Oh. The sheriff's oh. Office. Yeah, where are you putting the sheriff's office before you start throwing around martial law and all that shit? In this oh, I'm not throwing martial branch. law at all. I'm just telling no one wanted folk to clear out a uh, a place of once again prosperity. Which one of us is wanted, Ruben? For sure, you are. I think, uh, right? Nope. No, nope. we just got out of Sisica. No? Oh, well, good on you. Well, listen, if you, I, I tell you what, if you know you're not wanted, then fuck it, just stay. I don't care. Oh, but if y'all want it, then I am going to ask you to leave. 
I'm not wanted. <laughs> At least I'm I don't not. I think I'm wanted. Uh, Is that Sam animals? Rivers? Yeah. Holy oh, like, fuck. When was the last time we saw each other? Uh, fucking Shady Bell, maybe? Maybe. Well, fuck. How you been? Been okay? Been doing okay? You look old. <laughs> I, feel, I feel old. Sorry. You look old. Well, maybe stop doing that. Well, stop getting older? Feeling older. Say, Ruben, you think you can answer a question for me? Depends. Would you happen to know if I'm wanted? Not mm. offhand. All right. I don't know. I, I know. don't. I don't know every name of the list, to be honest. Where are the rest cool. of you folks? Recognize the rest of you folk. Howdy, Reuben. Halfway. Well, I know you. Howdy, Reuben. <laughs> All the screen. Howdy, Reuben. I'm Beaver. Beaver? Yeah. Good to meet you, Beaver. Uh, Tibbs. Howdy. Hey, Tibbs. Alright then. <laughs> What y'all up doing uh, uh, besides grabbing food? Just grabbing some food. That's it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, uh, plan on doing something out here? You, you gonna be living here, staying here? What, what's your interest? I'll be on. Starting a ranch. My own ranch. Well, at least take part of someone. Is taking part of a ranch. That being my so, yes. To answer your question, I do have plans here. It's why I wish to keep it prosperous and at peace. Y'all okay. take care. You take care, Debbie. Stay safe. Yeah, be safe, folks. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mike. Nice. Now, so you're uh, finally throwing away the badge, huh? No, well, no. I got no plans for that. Oh, sorry, Robert. Sorry, Robert. But I am supporting my own family. You have a family now, Ruben. Stay dry. Stay safe. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, so, yeah, of course I do. I want to go run errands. I thought uh, you were with someone recently in the past. That's what I did. And that's true. My wife did pass away back in October. It's not uh, news I keep secret. Away from the moon. She went to the time to share, but looking for someone got a knife to the throat. Yeah! <clears throat> Should I tell the threat? Obviously, he's about to get him on the knees. Here, what's going on? I'm sorry about that. You have a new family? Say what well, family? That didn't that, that doesn't change. Just my family's trying to start something new. I'm trying to push myself or uh more limits, I guess. Nah, I don't want no trouble from it. You won't get any from us. I hope not. I know we've had our differences in the past. You got the people that got sand there, right? They died the same night. All of them. Yeah, I can't really say the same. Have a good night, Ruben. Leave you alone. Mm. 
then it's luck for you that you're shit shot. Hell hath no fury and all that. So roads? Yeah. Uh, we still need a wagon shop for Julio. Oh my god. Let's, let's go do it. Yeah, let's. Out here. No, let's just go around the back here. Yeah. That man knows that I still blame him for Olive's death. into my pocket real quick. Oh, you're fine. You didn't distract or interrupt. I appreciate you. I appreciate the gifted subs. I appreciate you fucking out and stopping by. I have so many stews. You. Thank you for hanging out. I need a wild turn. So, uh, I gotta be honest with you. When you and Tibbs walked off, I kind of stood there and was like, that's the reason I don't like her. That's the only thing I don't like about them, is her <laughs> secrecy. It wasn't secrecy, we just didn't want to interrupt you guys talking. But you walked a hell of a long way for it to not be a secret. But regardless, I was saying that, and then you, you fucking said halfway, get over here, you're going to want to hear this. I was just like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I was like, okay, so, uh, just maybe it's not. Just so that we didn't overhear, yeah. like, your conversation was overlapping ours, and ours was overlapping you guys. That's the only thing. So, we yeah, haven't even was... started a conversation there. The first well, thing I so... heard when I walked over was, okay, never mind. Okay. Sorry, carry on. They were all just getting a bit too close. <clears throat> it was, uh, I could tell she was trying to talk. She kept stopping because uh, you got you and Sam were talking, <laughs> so we just moved away. So no conversation was like overbearing on the other. Gotcha. I still don't understand what she was trying to say. She just needs to not go to Sisika because she wants to take him out. thinks if she goes to Sissica, that takes the chance away. I'm confused. No, I think she's just worried about you know, being in Sisca on the day that they do it. Gotcha. <clears throat> okay. He got a little insulted when I told him he wasn't worth robbing and that I had more important things to deal with today. 
Yeah, he probably did. Watching I just can't believe he came in there and told us to get the fuck out. As if, uh... He's got some kind of jurisdiction over the place. All by his lonesome. Into a room of outlaws. Down the ranch. <laughs> Just, uh, Morgan's gonna feel about him once that a law dog starting to ranch an animal. Mm -hmm. That'd be interesting. Lucky's a shit shot because Bell hath no fury. We got buttons now. I set my stream deck. We got buttons for our music now. Ready, ready, ready. Actually, test that really quick so I can lower the volume since it's really loud. There we go. Okay. Fixed. George, can you hear me? No? Good. Okay. We're getting George's session tonight. <laughs> it's, it's getting arranged right now. Mm. Let's go check if uh, Ollie is here. Alright. Slipped off the horse. <laughs> there are deputies the, at the office. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. We'll check shortly. Waiting for the way to wake back up. Yep.
Just waiting for me to wake up. Hello? Uh, howdy. Let's go. Alright, okay. Hello? One of you is just on the sponge. Like mm. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yes. Mm. Mm. What are, what is <laughs> going on here? I'm looking for Olya. Oh, mm. Deputy Olya was here recently. Do you know where Olya is now? Alas. Why? I need to have a conversation. I don't believe we've met. What's your name? I'm Sheriff Cameron. What's your name? Uh -oh. Cameron. I thought you were retired. We met Cameron. We took him hostage oh, on Christmas God. Eve. Retirement could not hold him. Hmm. Looking to have a conversation with Olya. No, I'm afraid she's not around for a conversation. Give me her telegram, perhaps. No, I'm not in the business of handing out my deputy's telegrams. What's your name? My name, August. It's a shame you should tell that August. to all your deputies. I've gotten some telegrams recently. Well, personal decree at least. I'll let Olya know. She can telegram me if she wants. Do you happen to know where she's gone? I have I no idea. You I haven't seen You're her today. Not to tell me. See, that is a lie concerning you both. You just mentioned that you had seen me recently. I have. Now I don't appreciate dishonesty, Sheriff. Listen, I've not seen her today. I have no idea. I've been around for less than an hour. So you can think I'm being dead so honest all you want. I'm telling you the truth. And any conversation <sighs> you want with all you can have it with me if you want instead. Cameron, if you haven't seen us with Olya, how do you know she's not interested in a conversation with us? Never said she wasn't interested. That's exactly what she said. Mm, you may want to check your ears. Yes. She said she doesn't want a conversation with us. He said she wasn't around for a conversation. You better keep up. That Edison listening. just told us uh, that Olya was around. She was around earlier. Um, where she is now is anyone's guess. I keep track of your own deputies. Mm. People have personal lives. Aye, they're adults. They do what they want. I don't keep track of them every second, every day. Now, if you've got nothing Why else you want to discuss, get out of my town. Your town? See, I didn't realize you were the Aye. sheriff of Rose. I'm the sheriff of Rose. Has that changed recently? Well, we came by with retirement, I. So what happened to the Sheriff of Rooms? And now we have to well, make up for tired. small talk till he wakes back up. Mm. Mm. The same thing happened as happens with anyone. People come and go. Changes in life. Yeah, I appreciate you stopping by. 
Interesting. See, Sheriff, you're quite abrasive and aggressive. I don't think it's really good for community outreach. See, here I am being perfectly so? polite, perfectly kind, and I could be an asshole. I could pull a gun, I could point guns looking for the information that I want, but I'm not. I'm sitting here being very nice to you. So why Listen, are you being so abrasive? I can be me? as nice as I want to be with people. However, <laughs> when there's groups, was that that rob my banks, shoot down my deputies. I was well for my that, to be abrasive. Uh, all you over there? Oh, you have found him. Oh yeah, I have a very polite and simple request of you. Oh, what's this? Clean up all the blood you spilled in my home. That's it. It's a simple request. You won't get hurt. We're not gonna rob you. We're just asking that you clean up the blood you spilled. Ah. I think it's pretty dried into the floorboards by now, is it not? And scrub it out. Some of it is yours. Well, uh, more of it is some of your friends is here. All of it is Hathaway's, who you nearly killed. I think the least you can do is just clean up the blood. That's all we're asking. I think it's a simple request. I'm not gonna hurt you, not gonna rob you, not gonna do anything. Just come clean the blood, and you're free to go. That's all we want. Free to oh. go is interesting for us. <laughs> I'll say free to go is we're not gonna keep you there, we're not forcing you to stay. Just clean the blood and you can leave. You know, you don't have to deal with us again after that. Just all we want is it cleaned. I mean, with all that pig blood and everything around, you really think a little more blood There's is no pig difference? blood or anywhere in there. We actually keep a quiet, clean home. You're the ones who messed it up. Just come clean the blood. Listen, we messed that up because you robbed a bank, took all your hostage, did a breakout, and so ran back into that Cameron. place. Damn right, I was there. I helped spill some of that blood. Interesting. So you both can come now, clean it. None of us are going to be going to that slaughterhouse to clean up any of that blood. Like I've said, get out of my town. This is not going to be going any further. In camera. It's no longer optional. That bank we robbed. Yeah. That hostage we swapped. Was there any blood spilled during all of that? Don't give a fuck if there was any blood spilled during the bank. You don't you take really someone hostage, you don't do rob this? a bank in my town. Right. You really want to do this I right think now. you that are really wanting to do this right now. Is this really what you want to do, Sheriff? You really we, want to lose your life right now? We can just right here, separate. right now. Oh, Leo, shut up. Okay. It's your choice. All right. You I'd like to think the choice is on both sides. Is that the two of you come clean the blood? I didn't think that was such a terrible request. Ruben, put the gun down and ride like the you. fuck out of town. Get out of my town. Yous have got your choice. I don't even know how many of yous are currently wanted. You think you can just stroll into my town and make demands? This isn't how this works. You can just you should leave. You can just leave. Exactly. Let's not do this. Like MJ says. And leave, we wouldn't even write up any of this. So I don't give a fuck, this is nothing. I don't care about the slaughterhouse, I don't care about the blood that was spilled. But you're not going to be forcing my deputies to do that work. <laughs> like I said, Thank you for time in this town is done. Go. Boys. Aye. Go. Then hide it. Boys. Be seeing you, Sheriff. Boys. Tip split from us. I don't know uh, exactly where. I know goes. where she went. I know where she went. I saw him. It's safe as for her that way. He was speaking with Ruben. We could have done without the death links. Guess we know where she is. Me 
make your demands, I guess. Oh, we are to the right, around the fence. We are outnumbered. The second fucking Reuben showed up. We are fucking outnumbered. Didn't mean to leave you, Tibbs. Uh, saw you talking and saw you take I yourself out of the situation. Well, I was trying to keep away from you guys. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. We you're didn't fine. leave you because we were upset with you. We left because uh, we saw you hop off. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I didn't. I didn't. He asked me if I was a part of it. I said yes. So I was just keeping him at bay. No, you're fine. You're fine. We're uh. There's not going to be a good situation there, regardless. There are too many of them. Hmm. Also a town. You never take a fight in the middle of a town. I am. Uh, oh, Leo, as much as I appreciate you speaking up, I did have that handled. I don't know. No, it's good someone else said something anyway. I didn't want a bunch of people just sitting that quiet. It's nice that he said his piece. Especially when guns are aimed. So now we know confirmed Cameron was there. Yeah. And oh yeah, will not do the simple task of cleaning up some fucking blood. I had a little problem with my head before she arrived. Did she just outright say no? I didn't hear her say a word the whole time I was there. Cameron spoke for him. entire time. I think she said maybe five words at the most. So. Cameron is still a goddamn sheriff, even though he retired. He came out of retirement. I asked while well, you had your headache. And apparently he's the new sheriff of Rose. I was surprised to see him there. He's a friend with Jay. He was reasonable last time I spoke to him. Wasn't too reasonable today. No, he was not. He seemed very proud of the fact that he spilled blood in our home. Yes, he did. Well, too proud. I'm putting yeah. him at the top of the list. Good. Who else was there? I know it was Clockwork, Cameron, I think I saw MJ McFarlane. Oh, back in Rhodes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck was the deputy with a mask on? No idea. Uh, no idea. I know, um, Ruben came in at the end. Full up on ammo, just in case they decide to uh, stop by. Uh, I still need pi uh, pistol ammo. Honestly, I could do fifth more pistol. You okay, Tibbs? Tibbs, you all good? Interesting to see Cameron like that. He was reasonable the last time we saw him. He 
was one of the first people I met in the crossing. And he told me that there was a cannibal named Tibbles. Uh oh. That's With Tibbles nibbles. Did I ever tell did I tell you that story? It was fucking embarrassing. Lenny and Kansi, when I used to ride with them, they, they like to fuck with people. And what I mean by that is like say like the dumbest shit. Every time you start speaking to someone, it's always like, don't get stabbed. You know, like just ask them like really weird questions. And, you know, <laughs> I have that was fun. That was great. And one of the crossing who that was crossing That was, I'm hoping joking. for more. And then they said, yeah, let's see. We'll do it to the next we're gonna have to find. I wanted to find Olya with less law. We were definitely getting sheriff. outnumbered there. Camera. Like we had even numbers, but so in I a town, a that's not good. And he gives us a really fucking dark so answer. best option was to leave. And then he asked for my name and it Blazing Swan, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you for stopping by. Gotta fucking be kidding. Having a lovely day today. Let's go. Yeah, there's like really cool, like paced out, slow burn, like healthy conflict RP. So good. And two of us are wanted right now. So for that standoff, we maybe would get brandishing. Um, Did I tell you guys something? Sure. It's always an easy Any thing. ounce of fucking fatigue I had, gone after that. Um, well, they'll probably come after us just for brandishing. I'm just thinking uh, what they would potentially try and charge us with, and maybe brandishing. Brandishing and making threats, I guess. Ow. Threats, uh, it's a it's, uh, it's, it's some, it's some good, good fucking conflict RP here. Let's see, 33, I want 17 rifle. Oh, okay. I was like, no, it's Tibbs. <laughs> Who did they think you were? Alish. Oh. Why do I have so much money on me? I thought I just had a massive headache outside. Again. Oh, shit, okay. Is it because I gave you money the other day? Uh, no, it's because I killed some sheep. Uh... This is a really nice fucking. Yeah, you better not lose it. Yeah, I I lost my navy the other day, grave digger. In the bolt. Probably would have. Definitely would have. Alright. I'm just gonna sit tight and wait for him to wake Scrum? up. Oh. My love? <laughs> oh, yeah, Sam. You oh, gotta hear his Scrum? story about Scrum. We hey, saw hi. Scrum yesterday. Yeah, I, I wanted to fuck him. Um, right. Yeah, it's oh yeah, you you missed the worst fucking conversation. Scrum's lady Roxanne I punched him a couple of times. Oh yeah, you were there. I I I I wanted to fuck him. So <laughs> <Sure. Fuck her. laughs> Jesus. Listen. Motion of the so ocean. We'll find you. Everything between you. We'll find you a lover someday. <laughs> uh, I think he and Adelaide, Adelaide. will get along great. Yeah. <laughs> oh know. yeah? Well, the last time I talked to Adelaide, she asked for advice because she had three people she was going to marry, or considering marrying. One for money, one because they're fucking crazy, and uh, one for love. I <laughs> she think asked I need me her. which one I would pick, and I said Adelaide. <laughs> it's 
that even a question? <laughs> I think I need her. Oh my god, so you think you need her? <laughs> you haven't even met her yeah. yet. I don't know. The first, one of my stays in the crossing, she got me stabbed. So, is she crazy? She's fucking crazy. I need her. <laughs> I think you need a lot of support. <laughs> I need her the most. Yes. Look, I know shit's about to get go down oh! possibly, but oh! I really gotta put my head down for a couple of minutes. Probably like <sighs> 15, 20, maybe 30. Uh, do you have to do it right this second, or can you wait till we get to the slaughterhouse? I can wait till we get to the slaughterhouse. I just don't want you caught out here by yourself when you wake up. Yep. Uh, Sam has to put his head down for like 20 minutes when we go to the slaughterhouse. Alright, ready? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't, Sam. Um, yeah. Are you able to just sit in the corner of the slaughterhouse? Uh, you know, I can sit, you know, the, the that little bat, uh, desk behind the tracks? Uh, yeah, you can sit there. Yeah, I'll you sit know, there. Uh, I'll just ride, I'll just... You just go, right you now. just go. Did Hathaway fall a stand? Yeah. Okay. And no, I, I didn't, just so you know, I... I understood why you guys left. I, uh... I didn't know if that was you removing yourself because of what you told me, or if, uh, well, you were talking, so we just... It was a little bit of both. When Ruben came up and I saw him and I walked over to him, he asked me if I was part of the situation, so I just said yes, because okay. I would have pulled on him. Fair enough, okay. I will keep that in mind for... Everything else that may or may not happen. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't know if you were moving yourself because I didn't hear what you said when you got off the horse. Uh, well, I, like I said, I saw them walking in, so I said, okay, I need to, I need to step off. But then he had his mouth. I walked up to him, and again, he asked me if I was involved, so I said I was. Because like at first, it's just what the four or five of them in the we showed up when we were. Yeah, and, and I kind of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I made my decision when I was on the ground there. <laughs> but he told me to get out of town, so I did. I should stay out of the but it doesn't mean I will. Oh, howdy, Jay. Oh, is that you? Yeah. How y'all doing? I'm doing okay. Just waiting for Hathaway to wake up. Uh, I just woke up myself. How you doing now, George? Hello. Alright. Uh, I sent Sam to the slaughterhouse because he had to lay his head down. Or go sit in the corner like I said. Yeah, yeah, just, right. um... We'll get you to the slaughterhouse before you have more headache. Okay. Oh, no, I'm... Um, telegrams. Telegrams. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my head right now, but it's annoying. Was it handing me something? It's handing me something. But yeah. Wait, sorry. Have you seen this before?
<laughs> Isn't that funny? It's a funny little thing. It's uh interesting. Uh huh. Stumbled across it yesterday. So <laughs> funny. What you found that? I think. Um, some people were actually selling it. They came by the camp to do some business, and it just came with the the rest of everything we grabbed. So, uh... Alec didn't have pox space. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, we need to go to Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? Or Kamasa. 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 Yeah. I think uh, Jay's going to tag along for now, at least until Sam gets back. Uh, did you tell him oh, Sam where we I can spit off. Yeah, I did. Yeah, he knows. Okay. No, you're fine. You're fine, too. So let me uh, go grab Jay. No, ma'am, I didn't. Uh, we're heading home. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> only I see you around. Fort Kamasa. Mm hmm. Hmm. Fort Kamasa. Fort Kamasa. I need to speak to you. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's just a, uh, a hideout. Mm. Mm. I got some distance. I know that you want to get all your, and I know you want to bring it to the fort, uh, to the slaughterhouse to clean up the mess. I'm in no condition to be in a fight, August. Yeah. I know. If they come after us, I'm, uh, I'm going to defend myself and I'm going to shoot at them. But can you avoid putting me in a position where we start a fight? Yes. Thank you. Just uh, I was hoping to find felt like for at least a little bit. I know, we but there was fighting. We were outnumbering them at first, but then they were going to come out. Still, outnumbering them by one isn't enough for them to back down. They were going to shoot. Hmm. I didn't expect yes. you to pull a gun and put us in that position. It's uh, getting so out So we got out of it. Now I'm not put you in that position. Just don't like it in the other. Hmm. Is it uh You feeling alright, half boy? Might be awake for six more hours. Yeah, I'm alright. Sure, man? That's what we're yeah. going to the fort for the thing you told me earlier. I'm barely gonna move. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Be uh, something to line the mood, maybe. We just need to be smart up again, oh yeah. I will be smart if I'm sorry. I'm not saying you weren't smart, I'm just I'll pulling smart, guns though. wasn't. I got it. I'm sorry. Wasn't. That wasn't a bad game, not gonna win. No, I gotta be honest, I uh I was scared as all hell when you pulled guns there.
lamp just flashed before my eyes as my <laughs> chair tried yeah, to kill Hathaway's me. Yeah, <laughs> laugh just flashed before my eyes. I'm sorry. I think Blackjack fucking hates you, man. That's alright, it's mutual. Oh, you love him. No, Hathaway hates every horse but his own. You mildly... Like, hey, at least your horse doesn't trample you to fucking death. Uh, Hathaway's horse does, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah mine did it three times the other day. Mine did yeah. it at the slaughterhouse. I'm claiming the bed. Yeah, I would also know, like to apologize for yeah, talking George. out of turn. No, it wasn't Back talking there. out of turn. It was fine. It was, uh, oh, yeah? the death threats were maybe that's, a little bit uh, much, but, you know, perfect. at least... Yeah. What? What do you mean? The death threats were probably a little bit much, considering, uh, that could have escalated things more than we wanted it to, but... George, yeah, it just was, it wasn't lay in the Come on, this is this is where you are. All right, this is for you. What? Oh. Ah, here we go. George, if it isn't my favorite doctor, oh, I just knocked everything over. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Oh, yes. you're having a bucket of fun, my dear. Oh yeah, oh, buckets and buckets uh, of fun. We'd have the patient. Right. He's uh in the bed. Ready oh, for that? Quite a shade long, you know, but. It, uh, Hopefully adequate. Oh my god, this is amazing. Well, this is uh, comfortable. <laughs> so what uh, is the uh, issue at hand, I have to say? My prostate hurts. Wait, <laughs> what? What? Oh my... I said my, my... You have... George. Half away, you have... Half away, you haven't brought here to make an ass out of me, have you? I was hoping you could tell us what's wrong with him, you know? I mean, he's... George, he's I'm obsessed with meat holes and stuff and beans. Uh, my prostate. He's the best yeah. there when it comes to people's minds, not their prostates. Uh, just, oh. um... I understand I'm the butt of a few jokes, but uh, I am here to help you, uh, Mr. McFinnigan? McFinnigan. Yeah. Or Beaver. You can call me Beaver. I like beaver. Oh, beaver. Uh, Mr. Perrin. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am Dr. Colin. He is Orphid. Mm -hmm. I happen to be a, uh, a prominent psychologist and therapist here in the course in uh, the Milner's work, and I'm uh, delighted to work with you today. So, your associates have brought me in since they seem to think that there is an issue at hand that I can help you with. Now, other than your. Never regions. Might you explain to me what is happening with you as of late? Something uh, abnormal. Yeah. So lately, in my mind, I've had a really weird, almost obsessive uh, situation with taxidermied beavers. It's it's like an unhealthy obsession that's been calling at my mind. So, when you say you have an unhealthy obsession, do you mean you like to make taxidermic beavers, or you like to collect them, I or like you like to, to do other things with them? I like, <laughs> I like to collect stuffed beavers, I like to make stuffed mm -hmm. beavers, I like to buy stuffed beavers, and I like to stuff stuffed beavers. I see. Well, we all have our hobbies. However, I do have to ask, since I was brought in, has this hobby of yours caused any difficulties in your current tips. life? She's, she's deep in thought, I think. Oh, oh it has affected my career oh, as of late. How do you Whenever think? How do you think one stuff a stuffed beaver? The people close to me. Well, beaver. Well, it's okay, already yes. stuffed. How do you yeah, stuff it? Well, in... How else would you stuff something me... with stuff in it, Jay? Jesus they call Christ. me names for my stuffed beaver obsession. Uh, is it uh, all right to ask what these names are, if there are any specific examples? They call me Beaver Bitch. <laughs> they, call me, they call me Beaver Boy. And they call me Bitch Beaver. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry to that, Mr. Beaver. No one deserves to no, be no, call me ridiculed. Beaver. I thought you wanted to be called Beaver. No. All right, all right, Mr. Finnegan. I do apologize. 
I will avoid using that word in your uh, name placement. Whenever I get called any beaver names, I I turn into a beaver, like you, you? like like now. <laughs> do, what what else do you do when you pretend to be a beaver? I I have a log in my meat hole. I I chew on it, I gnaw at it, and I, sometimes in the middle of the night I get naked and I go out onto the bridge and I take sticks and logs and I build a dam. I see. And I uh, I, I, I get protective oh, of, my, of my nest. When people walk by it, I, right. I scratch them. I, <laughs> I do unspeakable things. Well, I can assure you, no one is going to any dams or fat in your areas of currently. There's going to be no, yeah, uh, no difficulties here. I'm just going to head. Now, I have to ask, when did this uh, obsession, as you call it, begin? It started when I was in Blackwater, and I was running around looking for gnomes, and there was a man, man there, he, he showed me his, his, his stuffed beaver. <laughs> if you can, Mr. Finnick, can you... Describe to me the experience of this man showing you his stuffed ah! beaver. It's, it's fine. You're, you're in a safe place. I'm just only here to help. Not if things are too stressful. This seems more necessary than I realized. It took me behind the general dance. store. <laughs> that is mm -hmm. And he was holding his stuffed beaver. And he showed it to me. And... How did this make you feel, to show me stuffed beaver behind the general store? It felt... It was love at first sight. When I saw it, I, I had this... Quell within me. This... Pent up... This beaver born disease. I, when I saw the beaver, I... It started growing inside of me the, the primal urge to go back to be a beaver I, in another life I feel like I was a beaver you know it, it just I see in another, I was I was a good beaver <laughs> uh, relax Mr. Finnegan now there have been cases before where people have uh, believed themselves to be reincarnated from previous lives, either from people, or in your case, like an animal. However, uh, if you... A person cannot live through lives, Mr. Finnegan. And there will come a point in this uh, lifestyle of yours that you will hit a crossroads. Just like now, where you will have to choose whether to live out as some feral beast or oh, you live as a man and I have to say we'll see a lot of getting back to one's natural environment may seem a, 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 quite pleasing it might isolate you after all let me tell you this do you think beavers have friends yes yes they do see I'm a beaver <laughs> and I have yeah, friends. But I have to ask. But, uh. You know, beavers, beavers have complex parasocial lives, right? They have families, they have hierarchies. They build dams together, they live in the dams together, and they die in the dams together. There, you are certainly very educated on the matters of beavers, Mr. Finnegan. Uh, but, of course. There is one clear difference between that and uh, what you have right now now beavers they have a parasocial relationship as you say with only beavers 
and humans uh, feel free to not exactly have friendships with beavers. And if you are to become a beaver, you may have to isolate yourself from all these people around you who have come to care for you and uh, consider your friends, family, or acquaintance uh, a staunch member of this group. Is that something you want to lose? After all, they've shown a great of care bringing me in to assist you. But they're, they're all my beaver buddies. That's... That's half a beaver. Auga beaver. Julio beaver. Tip a beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Beaver? We're all beavers, mister. D don't you realize? We were born as... <laughs> we were born as beavers full time as beavers. Mr. Finnerkel. I know it is difficult to ascertain a situation, but... Beavers don't use guns. Beavers don't ride horses. Be beavers don't wear clothes. And I see amongst myself every person I swear here to God, having George exactly all of that. It because he just said that I'm gonna lose it. Now they are oh not believe they do not have any form of deal. They, they are simply. I really didn't know what to human. expect from this, but this is not it. They How do you know beavers don't wear guns? You just never seen a beaver with a gun. Have you not? They're have yeah, you have you we... seen a beaver and a gun in the same room together? <laughs> have you? After all, yes, you have I have. Well educated yeah. on beavers. Yes, I have. I look in the uh, mirror. Uh, uh, Not yourself. <laughs> well, all these all these beavers, Train. Me, all these be beaver believers, <laughs> they all have guns. <laughs> They're all wearing gloves. I have a train. Fact, you're a beaver too. Do we want now? Yeah, I don't want glasses? to try. I didn't know beavers wear glasses. That's a new for me. Yeah, no, 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 good point. Hmm. As much as I want it, I don't want to put you at risk right now. Y you, well, you that's know, more like you it. Know <laughs> I am curious, so go ahead, Mr. Finnegan. The world is all waivers. Oh you know, I wasn't even thinking about myself for a second. I just heard a train and got excited. Look at the wall. See that wood? See the little scratch marks? It's a waiver. Look at the lantern. That's a really fucking bright beaver. The fire? That's a that's a flaming beaver. All right. The sky? One blue beaver. All right. The earth that we stand on? It's a beaver. The stars and hat that you see? When a when a new beaver is born, the light just sprinkles in the in the sky. Oh my God. Did you know that? The sun? Have you ever looked at the sun? Well, I'm always That's interested. God in... Oh, I see. Well, I'm always interested to learn people's different perspectives on life since we should uh, listen to them and perhaps we can learn something from for ourselves and themselves. I do have to ask. Other than the small example which you said of where you've had difficulties, has there been any current examples where your lifestyle has caused more grand issues? I love issues with that it? George, that B, just kind of yes ended the fuck oh. out of this. Sometimes it's Sorry, I'm muffin. When um, everybody's sleeping. There's just with it. And I go into my primal rage fits, I strip down in the middle of the slaughterhouse. I get naked and I start chewing on all the wood in there. I, I go into. It's too late, he's already home. doing it. And I yeah. just start chewing. At least I now start we know chewing. where all those marks are coming from. And I from. just eat, eat, mm -hmm. eat, eat mm -hmm. all the wood. <laughs> and I have these nightmares sometimes too. Or I wake up in the middle of the night and I just start screaming, DON'T TAKE MY BEAVER! And the group, the group killed Beaver. The group, the group doesn't like when I have these outbursts. 
Coolio Beaver and Halfway Beaver yell at me sometimes for it. Well, there might not be could be difficulty since these helpers uh, could to be interfering with very important work that they do, which I can test uh, can be dangerous. And these helpers could you know, not just put yourself in risk, Mr. Finnegan, they could put the rest of them in risk. And don't you want to, to get the help and aid you need to prevent that from happening? Because one outburst in the wrong situation and someone could die. Well, I had a situation like that the other day. Mm -hmm. I was talking to Law in the street in the Blackwater and they were on a wagon. And I, I got the primal, the primal urge the, and it was something like... <sighs> And I just went up to the wagon and I just started eating it. And I, I took the sticks and the lumber and I went to the Flat Iron Lake and I, I tried to build a dam. I was at the strip naked again. And how did the law... They shunned me. The law shunned you? For being a beaver! They didn't believe Did, in the paper. Say that's... Well, all right, let's relax. Well, what were. did they say specifically? What did they say exactly, Mr. Finnegan? They told me, Mr. Finnegan, you are not a beaver. If you pretend to be a beaver, we are going to arrest you. And I said, fuck you. <laughs> you know. And I ran away on all fours. I ran away on all fours. I escaped into the woods, still butt naked. My ash cheeks flapping in the wind as I, as I got to the woods. They couldn't catch me. They couldn't catch the beaver. Mm. You say you strip down a lot. Uh, how does it make you feel? Why do you like to strip down when you get this prime alert? Dust to dust, you're a beaver. That's what it is. Maybe you could uh, elaborate for those of us who wind. are less uh, educated on the matter of beavers. Dust to dust, beaver to beaver. It all starts with dust. And it all ends with beaver. Well, you say that we are all beaver. Every part of this world is beaver. But why would you share the actual words fuck? Why? If they are part of the beaver. I want to feel closer to the beaver earth. Close our sin to the beaver gods, mister. So we are all uh, sinners right now. Is there any other yes. examples of what is sinful from this god? It's sinful. It's sinful to build houses. You do not build houses, you build dams for the beaver colony. It's sinful to eat anything other than berries and nuts. It's sinful to wear hats, because beavers don't wear hats. It's also sinful to wear glasses, because the f beavers don't wear glasses. It's, it's silly. So... From those examples, uh, if you looked upon myself, you would think that I am the uh, the ultimate sinner of this uh, this beaver god. Yes, it's also a sin to wear blue. And uh, how do sins make you feel, uh, Mr. <laughs> Finnegan? Uh, what are you doing? Mr. Finnegan, what are you doing? 
Who he charges me? Nick. He charges me extra George. if he gets hurt. George, sit down. Easy, 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 you, you figured out what's wrong with him, Doc? Mm. You know what's wrong with him? Longer than a single session. So, yeah. uh, so he's there's something about the beaver that makes him feel safe, makes him feel uh, relatable. Uh, is there any part of his past life before he <laughs> became obsessed that might have uh, he found comfort in a beaver? Um. He did live in a half sunken boat in the water. Oh, that that, that, so that uh, might have, have some benefit. It, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he's really isolated, alone, uh, often most likely surrounded by beavers. You know, in a situation like that, all rotten food, uh, water, yeah, it's a fine time for beavers to come out. So he's probably had a, a, a youthful, uh, well, I don't know how long ago he lived in these conditions, but he could have had a, a vivid experience of all with beavers in <gasps> his youth. Ah! Oh, God. Uh, uh, am I? <laughs> My back? Uh, your back was Mr. Finnegan. How do we feel? I don't know. Uh, like a beaver? Where? But at least you're talking, which is uh, you're in an old fort uh, between Van Horn and Emmelfeld, surrounded by your friends and myself, Dr. Cornelius Orfit. Uh. Who's here to help you to the bottom of your. Obsessive behavior with beavers. Okay. Uh, so I was told, Mr. Finnegan, that uh, in, you might have had an experience a little different to what most of us. You had to live in a uh, half sunken boat in the water onto a yeah. bridge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, te uh, tell me about this. Uh, when, when did this happen? Why did you live there? It was the first place. Oh my god. It it was near... It was near... The water. It was my dam. Oh god. And, uh... And when you, um... When you lived there, did you ever have previous experiences with, uh, with beavers? <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I had a beaver. That, yes, yes. Uh, the first beaver. The catalyst beaver. The catalyst beaver. Well, tell me what happens with the... Oh god, the, the catalyst beaver, Mr. Finnegan. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. You've got his confederate. Where the fuck is he going? Uh, <laughs> he, he stripped naked and, and ran the fuck away. What? Yeah, he is going on! That did not just happen just now. It did just happen. Uh, One thousand percent did. <laughs> is he actually being serious or is he just fucking with the talk right now? I don't know. I really hope he's fucking with the doctor right now, because if that's actually a if he's oh boy. I, I don't I don't <clears throat> I think he's serious. To see how he was just fucking I, uh... <laughs> fighting and growling at the dude. <clears throat> we should probably go make sure he doesn't bat orbit. Yeah. Mm. 
found them. <laughs> They're over there on a rock in the water. Oh god. want to come back in the fort, sweetheart. You must be feeling very cold, Mr. Finnegan. Let's get you uh, a little warm inside the fort. Get you some, some food. Oh no, oh no. Uh, no. He's got he's okay. Come on, let's, let's go inside the fort. Nice and warm. Oh, yes. Nice and warm, you know, yeah. you want to dry off. Get it's, nice and toasty. It's, it's a dam near the water. Come on. Let's Come on, come on, Georgie. Come on, <laughs> George. Come on, Georgie. Uh, come on, Georgie. Get back in your bed. You, you might know? have warm up. You might have tried. You might have tried to bite my crotch. Georgie, come oh, on. Of course he did. Let's let's go inside. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. It came over my head. Nobody. I don't know what's wrong with him or if it. I asked you to come so we could figure it out. I don't know what came over me. Okay, Georgie, come on. No, normally he's just a he's just a little bit eccentric now and then, you know, but I think he may be Hey George. Hey. Yeah. I just figured you could maybe figure him out a little bit, you know? If you can first some yeah. observation, oh. yeah, yeah. Come on, Georgie. Let's, uh, let's go sit in the bed again, have a seat, maybe put some clothes on. Yeah. yeah. Nice and warm. Because you don't have fire, so you need your extra fur, right? So you gotta put those back on. <clears throat> Keep him nice and insulated, nice and warm. I wonder when he's gonna realize that I'm fucking with him. Let's get back in your nice, comfortable bed near to the fire. There we go. Nice, close one, nice and warm. She just goes to me and he goes, I wonder when he's gonna realize I'm fucking with him. Isn't that so much better? <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Okay. Uh, George just walked up to me. He goes, I wonder, I wonder when he's gonna realize I'm fucking with him. Oh my god. George just came up to me and he goes, I wonder when he's gonna realize I'm fucking with him. Wow. The stuff beaver that the man showed me. As soon as he showed me the stuff beaver, my world changed. Something about it, and uh, why are his shoes on? Showed me a no, he was naked. Oh, because he was just naked. Ago. I had to get him to put his clothes back on. <laughs> there was a no, you why was that necessary? Why was he naked? Talk about it wasn't story, necessary right? for you looking for no, <laughs> because they've been turning the doorknobs into bricks. This, this has been an experience. This has been. <laughs> Wildly entertaining. I don't think he's going to freeze over I'm not surprised. <laughs> I don't know how much crazy shit he's saying, but the brick doorknob thing is a real thing. We got a brick doorknob out in Blackwater. But uh, what makes you think it was no I so constructed so uh, Like I, I had no idea what the fuck was going on, and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. Doctor shows up and George know. is just <laughs> 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 and I'm like, oh. <clears throat> oh yeah, you were you were deep in thought, but I walked up to you and I was like, we've been we've been trying to do this for days. <clears throat> yeah, I hired him about a week ago. <laughs> this is the soonest we can do it. <laughs> Holy! His name is Pingle. <laughs> I got <it>. oh, so <laughs> I didn't expect this, but <laughs> I got so over by the bed and get him to put his arrow. clothes on, and he goes, I wonder how long it's going to take for him to realize I'm fucking with him. Very, um, <laughs> 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 what exactly did he say? 
<laughs> this was not in my bingo of things that would happen today. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was in any of ours. It was a special but favor that he stuck himself. Well, it's, uh, it's been an experience. It's incredible. So me and him stuck the beaver together. Trouble, trouble. Yes, how did it feel to have stuck the beaver together? It felt intimate, I guess. And maybe you'll have... Uh, You've been trying to create this intimacy again. Now that shared moment. I feel your pain. <laughs> look at him, don't deny you're seeking to replicate it for this obsessive nature with beavers. Have you had much intimacy in your life before then, uh, Mr. <laughs> Timothy? <laughs> uh, uh, I used to have. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> I don't know what specs I am, right? Isn't booked him a doctor, you know? Father. Oh, you okay, so we all. Maybe a few this intimate exchange with a stranger where you double stuffed the beaver, maybe it reminded you of your ex wife and. The fact you used to stuff things together, and now you've sort of uh, latched on to the behavior. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be thinking to myself for a moment. To try to relate yeah, to yeah, of course. <laughs> so, so is it a coincidence <laughs> that we happen to be right near the only beaver dam in the crossing? I need, I need water real fast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is a coincidence. The doctor chose the location. <laughs> Is this One like a regis doctor, or is this just... To obsess over He's a real head doctor, yeah, I've known him a long time. Oh! Of it does not fill the... Uh, Poor Cornelius! The hole that she made up from. Uh, the heartbreak and whatever happened beforehand. It is like trying to take oh, a single back. bank of words over an entire sinking ship, Mr. Finnegan. It's still going to sink. You just used all the effort for nothing. Now what I think... By the way, there's a telegram, Jay. Towards, ...because I see you have a lot of energy, Mr. Finnegan. A lot of energy. Uh, yeah, I telegrammed him back there. Uh, he's here, okay. somewhere. Yeah, I just he saw him just walking off, and I realized I never telegrammed him. Of what you enjoyed to do beforehand. You know, not just I just kind of figured one of you two did it. But, uh, looking back into what you yeah, I let him know what happened. Right. Oh, For the record, also, friend. there is law in roads. I could sure. not get a good look of who was there, though. Yeah. Uh, it's, um, it's fine. It, it happens to oh, right, you were there Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that there's still law there right now. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna wait on that. Until uh, like, I can like, catch one of them all along. And maybe you okay. that you yourself and have a We talking like tomorrow wait on that or just later tonight? Until we can catch one of them all along. Alright. <laughs> Becoming a beaver won't earn you the love of your ex-wife. In fact, she does not deserve you because she she betrayed your trust by a random beaver. Instead of trying to become the beaver, <coughs> you should forget the beaver because it brings bad memories for you. And chasing after something you're not is just going to destroy you and your friends. There are plenty of old people out there if you crave that intimacy, Mr. Finnegan. You are energetic, you are an excitable individual. I'm sure there are a lot of interests out there. You have a booming tonality when you're not trying to bite my torch. <laughs> Nobody wants a beaver, bitch. 
And then, that's why you will have to become the beaver. Become oh, your own. Me, bitch. <laughs> and so then you're not beach, Mr. Tinegan. Because crying on the beach is not going to help. It is fine to be emotional, but accept the role of being a bitch. Make sure you bitch. Are you going to accept that? No. Exactly. What are you going to do about it, Mr. Finnegan? I'm going to go up there, and I'm going to show him. George McFinnegan does not suck beavers. He stuffs coyotes. Oh, oh no. bigger mammal. Bit. Tell him I'm not a bitch, I'm a coyote. That's kind of interesting. have restrictions on the beauty attitude. We don't want to have a repeat of the beaver incident and all that. Yes, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, cut that out. Mm-hmm. Thank you. We don't want to repeat. George oh, McFinnigan it's... is not a beaver anymore. Oh, congratulations. Wait, when was he a beaver? I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go with it. <clears throat> He's not a beaver. Um, yeah, uh, okay. Thank um, you. you, you saved our boy. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, sir. What the... Maybe oh, step away what? from there before anything bad happens with that big old box of dynamite. Oh god, there are explosives over there. Yeah, 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 maybe move away from there. I'm going to step away from that over there. Oh, did you not? Maybe I should have picked such a volatile place. Yeah, yeah, you did pick place. This, this is on you. Um... So, uh, Doc, what, uh, what's going on in George's noggin now? Well, from what I can tell is that uh, Mr. Finnegan here had uh, previous difficulties in a relationship that he made a test to beavers and that he might have gained his obsessive behavior with beavers to try to become the beaver that his wife left him for, uh, just going by what he said, and uh, that, uh, that he's only chasing the intimacy of a wife that uh, he should not be chasing after since she did betray his trust and that he, uh, he should uh, move away but so something else he has a uh, plenty of attitude and energy about of him and that he should not accept being called a bitch and i recommend you possibly shouldn't call him anything like that again or else uh, we oh, might have you uh, never called him it ever George, you fucking lying to the doctor i don't ever called him a bitch <clears throat> That's, that's They've called talk. me a bitch, but we've never called George a bitch. Why, why does he keep talking about his <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> now, I wasn't brought in to help with the meat hall, and I did want to raise the question, but I was dealing with the beaver thing. I, I don't have to ask uh, Georgie, what exactly is a meat hall? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Get back in bed, George. Oh, no. <laughs> you just oh, ran. No, be here for <laughs> Let's do the meat hall. Oh. <laughs> the meat hole. Oh, it's a theory. Sorry, it's a thought. I'm sorry. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the meat hole world theory? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you better not charge for an extra session. <laughs> How much are you paying? The meat hole world theory. It's uh, it's, it's fifty dollars unless George yeah, actually buys him, then it's twenty-five dollars extra. Have you ever been, have you ever been down? Oh no. Oh no. Do you mean the uh your anus? No, not the Jesus fucking Christ. Are you laughing at me? Yeah, what the fuck is happening? Are you in your voice? Are you fucking laughing at me? Oh, 
hurt the Delta, George. Please do not do anything bad. We need this meat. George, oh. we have to pay extra if you hurt him. Please don't. Is the meat hole belly button? The meat hole, the actual meat hole. Like, <laughs> do you know what a meat hole is? What, what do you think could you have bust you? <laughs> Wait, the wall? <laughs> the, no pointing, please! No, the point of the meat hole. I'm not trying to show you what the meat hole is. <laughs> no. 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 Jesus fucking Christ. I can't. Oh I can't. No. Oh, God. Just answer up. Why? Why did the... Why did the spread it open a little bit? Hathaway, I'm, bl I'm blowing myself up. I'm dead. I'm dying. This is it. I'm doing it. <laughs> no. The meat hole is my ass, your ass, everybody's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking can't. Have you what have you done to us? We all share one meat hole. That's why you it's unleash. Two holes. That's your meat hole. There is only one meat hole. It's all one unified. I am questioning meat hole. why I am here right now. Because you love us. Yeah, I see, I you uh, love me very much. <laughs> By the way, we're taking wagers on something if you want to come over here. Why don't we all defecate the same thing at the same time? Why would we shit out the meat hole? We should have made the meat hole. Yeah. <laughs> come here. I, I just, uh, it's oh. about Julio, so we need to not know what the wagers are. Oh, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell him. When you said come over here, I went to the room, come over here. Okay. <laughs> So Julio's been awake since 1 a.m. Eastern Stars. Yeah, and he just told me that, actually. <laughs> and we're I'm taking to bets on when he's going to end up passing out. Um, let me pull up the wager book. Where or when? When. <laughs> when. <laughs> Alright, so the wager is, and you don't have to pay up until somebody wins. <clears throat> but it's, um, it's $50. Hathaway said... 7 p.m. Eastern Stars. I said 9 p.m. Eastern Stars. George said 9.30 p.m. Eastern Stars. Tibbs said 8 p.m. Eastern Stars. And Sam said 1 a.m. Eastern Stars. What's what's your wager? Hmm. Makes me feel... Damn. Hmm. It makes me... It makes me feel... I'm thinking 11 Easter. Makes me feel bad. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's buying like a sheep. Okay. Now, is it so? How exactly does it happen? It's Whoever hard. wins is whichever is closest to him, or okay. whichever is closest, closest to the time. Wins, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, monkey Dan, thank you. Thank you. Put your fucking pants back on. <laughs> Why are your pants off? Put the black on! It makes me feel... It makes me feel... Like you should put your pants on? It makes me feel... What the fuck? Oh no... Like a snake! Oh god! Careful! No biting! No biting! I see you! I know you can come back. <laughs> oh my god. George, George, we have to pay extra George, if you buy them, please don't. George, you got no pants on. Be careful of stick and rocks. George, George, please put your pants on. Oh, just, just, let's put your pants back on. There. If you go, that's a, that's a good oh, It's definitely good. <laughs> it makes me feel. I'm going to have a stick in there for a week. It makes me feel. feel. We almost have an extra fear of I know the feelings. feelings. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh! Yes. Dr. Orbit, I think I hear Adelaide coming. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yep. Adelaide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
Oh, no, Sam, yeah. Um, where um, where are you going with that, no. Sam? George, George, oh, we have to pay extra. <clears throat> uh, George, we have to pay extra. George. I just wanted the meowing to stop. George, we have to pay extra if you bite him. George, do not bite the doctor. Please George. stop chasing him. George, do not bite the doctor. Please stop chasing the doctor. George, get in bed. George, get in bed. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's the second time he's tried to bite me. Yep. Okay, okay, dog. Maybe maybe we can get on another uh, session it, some sometime. It, 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 it's small victories we should save her for now. We shouldn't uh, go overboard. We'll come yeah, back yeah. to the meat hall of work theory later. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, know, I think about maybe maybe not do too much. Maybe, maybe, uh, yeah. maybe. Uh, no, you, no. You got any theories about what I mean, do you send uh, an old relationship or something? Head? Well, he mentioned an old, he mentioned an old relationship uh, that uh, the that next wife who left explode. him apparently for a beaver. Now, it could have been an individual he labeled a beaver, or in his mind he pictures oh, a, a, a beaver for some a reason. An actual like, beaver. Oh, like, oh, like, apparently she left for a little beaver. Just one way it. We have to sometimes. Uh, except these uh, memories, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that he tried he tried to uh, solve out the obsessive behavior after he was reminded of the beaver for that stranger who showed him his stuffed beaver in an alleyway. Uh, that yeah, uh, yeah, he's yeah. now tried he he's tried to become a beaver now to uh, sort of make up for this, to uh, rekindle beaver, that yeah. intimacy. What are you saying to him? Uh, no, no. Beaver, yeah. You know that you're, 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 you're not you're not in my plan, are you? You're not, you're not making things worse. I'm the one who brought him to this place. You know what's near here, right? But the I only wasn't beaver told to dam that. in the entire crossing, and you brought him here. Well, Mister Halfway didn't hey, look, even that... inform me of the condition. I didn't know any of this stuff. I just knew that he needed to speak to someone, or you know, get his feelings out. How do we know the beaver that this fool ain't, ain't there right now? What if he runs where? up here? Where? 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 He's the beaver. You're the touch. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stallion. You're the beaver? I'm a horse. What well, beavers were move, blue? Move out of the way. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, George, go lay down. Okay. Let him just get this out of his office. It's good to sometimes find a, a valid target for one to offend their frustrations. Yeah, yeah. Just, just let him just burn it out of his system. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll chuck in danger bonus or whatever, you know, because he did try Thank to bite you. you. On the couch and on the neck. Yeah. Uh, George? Maybe, um... Maybe we can pick this up again sometime. Oh no. Is it, it's a very evident. It's a very evident. George? Very irritating. Oh, of course, they fall off the fall. Maybe. Hey, George. George. He's fine. Well, okay, I'm a psychologist. Okay. Not a, a field medic, so good luck with that. Hey. Morning. As you know, if you could send me some kind of uh, follow-up telegram, just let me know your verdict on that. I'll do my best. There is a <laughs> lot I could say about uh, Mr. Finnegan and the uh, the beaver and the uh, the meatball. Uh, hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Finnegan. How are we feeling? Her. Well, you did take a mighty, mighty big fall, Mr. Finnegan. Uh, I hope you recover well. Uh, just uh, take it easy from now on. Who are you? I'm oh, Dr. Cornelius Ovid. Okay. Uh, what you doing here, Doctor? He was just here to help me with my uh, vocal problems. It's a, it's a vocal oh, yes? coach. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I try to help him even for halfway. Don't think I'm a bit of a pain in the neck. Oh. Yeah. I hope you feel better. I told uh. you the rules. Move it. This is oh, outside of this. All right. Yeah, I already. Did. Okay. <sighs> okay. Well, Willem, <laughs> we'll pick it up again some other time. But I appreciate pick, you coming out here. Pick what up again? Always Nothing, have... George. Yeah, well, you know, when I... Well, you know, you're helping him with his thought exercises. Mm, yeah, that's it. <laughs> me, 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 me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> ah, don't worry. We'll, we'll have you singing like the god soon enough. Yeah. Okay, all right, we just should, take, um... Just take it easy. Yeah, we should... George, you should get your shoes and your jacket and everything that's over by the bed there. Yeah. Yeah, we should, uh... <laughs> we should get him somewhere <laughs> safe. Here we are, heading out. Yeah. Thank you again, Ovid. Uh, we appreciate Always. your help. Always happy to help. It's been a very interesting session. Yeah, yeah, it has. That it, that it is. <laughs> Don't forget that follow-up telegram. <laughs> All right, I'll send it to you within a day. Excellent. Ah. All right, stay safe, a lot of you. Thanks again, all of it. <laughs> Oops! God damn it! <laughs> uh, I, yeah, it was funny. Good job. Yeah, I won't uh, always want to fuck with that guy anyway. It's, it's, it's what it is. Oh, yeah. my, my head! I did fall on my head a little bit. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> uh, can you take the three? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can. You okay? What's going on? Uh, my hands just hurt. Oh, okay. <sighs> uh, let's make sure we got tips. <coughs> oh. Wait, I'm on tips. We don't have tips. Where's tips? Maybe, there we go. Oh, Come on, on. Did you say I called you a bitch at some point? No, I said I get called a bitch. By who? A lot of people in sleep called me a bitch. Oh, damn it. Specifically a feral bitch, but... Then he called me a slut when I ripped the bullet out of his ass. <laughs> the show. Yes, it was. It wasn't what I expected. I honestly thought Orvid was going to be able to tell us or something about George, but George fucking just <laughs> fucked with him the whole time.
Okay, no one else got back to me other than Orvid, so... Does anyone else have anything? Oh. Did somebody just have a headache? No? No, we have everybody. Uh... Yeah, I have nothing, and I want to wait till we can find one of those law dogs alone, so... <clears throat> we gotta wait on my thing. Hey, it's a lot of us right now. I do have to run oh. off to, uh... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, where do you have to run off to? Valentine. Uh... I think we can probably all go. Just wait for Hathaway to wake up. So, that was a fun show. I hope y'all I hope you all liked it. I'm sorry if I was being uh, a little bit extra. Oh. It was entertaining to say the least. You did have to pay extra though because you kept trying to bite him. Fuck. Uh, how much extra? In battle on. Are we north of Valentine right now? East. Uh, okay. There's a train headed north of Valentine. Uh, Hathaway's very injured right now, and the train has security. No, I just meant... I meant, like, if they're coming this way, there'd be law on that train. Fine, I think. Uh, hold the train while we are at Fort Comenza, so. Okay. Mm hold -hmm. the train at Fort Comenza, I was gonna say game. He's. Are completed tracks. I don't know. Hey, that's the fucking train right now. Oh, look at that. Uh, we're not robbing it. We are not robbing the train. Is it heading towards us or away? Towards. Towards. Oh, yeah, we'll just leave. I'm gonna move my horse. It's not coming to us, we're fine. <laughs> it's not coming to us, it's uh, going across. Uh. I'm just moving my horse away from the trunks. I was thinking we're not if they know we're looking the for no no <laughs> if they know we're looking for Olya that'd be a pretty good place to hide her okay I'm gonna oh, go we've sleep already here. found Olya I was gonna go to Valentine and go to sleep I'm gonna let my I head mean, down here for I mean, a little bit I mean again you, what'd you say one more time so I was thought I was gonna go to Valentine let my head down for a little bit I'm gonna let my head down here <laughs> I'll uh, see y'all in a little bit probably in uh, two or three hours alright yeah um, oh, so you keep forgetting I was there? Uh, well, I, it just sounded like you forgot that you were there. Um, no. I don't think they're hiding Olya. I think they're going to keep Olya in town and around a lot of law. Mm. Also, Cameron's at the top of the list now, too. We're bringing two deputies in. Oh, there's... A list of more than just two. Cameron's at the top of the list because he was proud of the fact that he was there. 
Okay, so we saw them on these tracks. Okay. I think they... Let me know when you want me to pull the trigger on the gun thing and I can send her a telegram. Thank you. Not yet. Alright. We should all just stand here because Hathaway's gonna wake up roughly missing the person's poster. Hello. Interesting. Be that. Oh, be that. Don't, don't. Who uh, they'll be her? Aga Beaver? Tibba Beaver? God fucking damn it. <laughs> Has uh, Jay left? Yeah. Jay needed to I don't like how you down. laughed at my name. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Some uh, beaver. Mustache. Is that a beaver? How deep? How deep? It's Rami. Hey, Rami. How you doing? Pretty good. Now, how about yourself? Yeah, not bad. I was actually meaning to catch up to you. Yeah? What's your uh, telegram number? It's IZ435. Ignorant Zip 435. Zip? You still, uh. You still wanted to sell that Mauser? I already got rid of it. Ah, uh, who bought ago. it? Oh, I don't think they want me to give my name out. Oh, okay. How much you get for it? Fourteen. Yeah, fair enough. It's more than I was gonna give you. That's right. All right, never mind then. And, uh, at least I got your telegram now in case I uh, need to get hold of you. Yeah, you sound rough. What happened to you? I'm gonna show him the fruit. That'll do it. Yeah. Law came into the slaughterhouse and, uh, kind of, uh. Yeah, it didn't go well. Didn't have my vocal cords, so it should be right soon. It's just. It's painful when I speak so. I'll get over it. Alright, I'll leave you to it. See you around me. To see you and take You're sounding a bit better, G. Hathaway. I am. I'm able to speak more. That's, that's the important thing. That's it. Hey, Hathaway. Is Jack still right with you? Uh, yeah. Need any help, huh? With you know numbers, let me know. I'm quite wanting myself. All right, appreciate it. Okay, uh, where are we heading? <laughs> um. to pay out Sam, so probably somewhere with a bank. Found that? Okay. Uh, 
Uh, not yet. Yeah, not yet. You're about to, though. Right. Yeah, I was just trying to remember, sorry. Eat my fucking cleaver again. A sheep ate your cleaver? It was so fluffy the cleaver got lost in its wool. Whoa. And That's its like wool was so fluffy it ate all of our bullets too. That must be one of them uh, fucking mega sheep. I heard about them. It's one of those sheep that the, you their feed wool doesn't specifically get for like 40 to make. Years. It's one of those sheep they feed specifically to like make extra fluffy so you can cheer them. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, you know, because the fluff is the best. Yeah. That is true. Where everyone's uh, pets on Julio going to sleep. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> Jay said 11. Sam said 1 a.m. Tibbs, I think, said 8. Now, he needs to pass out in the next 17 minutes or I lose. No, if, if Tibbs said eight, I said seven. Mm -hmm. So I've only got oh, another. Seven, yeah. So you yeah, have until seven twenty nine. Like... Yep. Sorry, that's oh, I have a telegram. Mm -hmm. oh, well, There's fuck tons there. of law by telegrams. I thought those were rangers that were those law. And one of them was Reuben. Okay, Reuben so... was definitely over there. Okay, so we do go back to telegrams. <laughs> um, we can check elsewhere. What did we come here for? Bank. Payouts. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that was it. Can I also give you money real fast? Yeah. Uh, two hundred dollars.
Uh, August. <clears throat> yes, George. Do you want this oregano that I got? Um. Sure, just not right this second. How do I do you see what I'm handing to you? Yep, yeah, there it goes. Oh. Have a headache? Yep. What do you feel about beavers? Like I might punch one in the face. I'm just kidding. I like beavers. There's a lot of them up north. Up in uh, Canada? Yep. <clears throat> how, what, how, how did you say Canada? Canada? I'm gonna fucking slap you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking at? The beaver on the wall. There's a beaver on the wall? He's crawling, doing the beaver crawl. knock himself out from that? Again. I guess. I don't know why I'm like this. It's okay. We're just waiting for Hello, Dave. How's it going? Howdy, Hello. Lynch. Lynch's Hello, friend. is this a bad time? No, we're not robbing the bank. Uh, Hathaway okay, passed cool. out. Uh, passed uh, wait, what? Okay, hold on. Passed what? Well, had a headache. Passed. Out. Passed out. He had a headache. Okay, gotcha. I, um... <laughs> yeah, this is Edgar. Oh, this Hello. is the guy oh, you were talking yeah. about. I believe I briefly oh, met him. You. you shame! And, uh... Yeah, it was I your did. friend Jetta and Edgar that you were with in your own mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, let me know if you see Olia by herself at any point today, please. Um, I don't get involved in other crew's affairs. You know that, August. Okay. I'm sorry, but I do have that line. Uh, fair enough. Thought I'd ask if you just, uh, see that nice little deputy by herself. It's... I know it's hard business what happened to Hathaway, but still. It's just one of my lines. I apologize. Um, I respect your I'd anger, but... Anyway. Yeah. Mm. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Edgar. Pleasure to meet you, too. You uh, in the same line as work, line of work as Lynch. Oh yeah, absolutely. He taught me how to. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Oh my God, is there a bean here? Which is exactly oh. what we're about to go do. Told you we had work yeah, to do, Edgar. Because yeah. I just cleaned out the poker table with seven hundred and seventy-seven dollars leaving. Jesus Christ! That's why he was so mad, Edgar. That's why he was so pissed. Who's uh playing? Don't poker kid. Right now. No, not not. Him. Um, John Williams. John Williams, Cade, and Volton. Volton's still sitting over there with six hundred. If any of oh. you are a killer uh, you said poker Bolton player, or Volton. 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 Oh, oh, hey, um, I figured as much. August. Yeah. All right. Did you want me to take it? Oh yeah. John you have Williams. that hand? What can I do for you? Oh, I uh, heard you're looking to speak to me or Hathaway. I was, yeah. Give me one second if you don't mind. Uh, take your time. We're right across the street. Thank you. One well. second thought. I'm going to wait two seconds before I go outside. What's that? Uh, just, I was going to wait two seconds. Fuck, I got to go over there anyway. Not long ago. Now you're here in Valentine. I'm quite curious what brings you to Valentine. Uh, Normal yeah, business. We're using the bank like any other citizen. And that totally doesn't I don't. Involve a okay. It won't be for me, but I'm looking for one. A friend nope. requested one after they've seen the one I'm using. <laughs> now I've seen the one you're using. 
Wait. Is that, okay. is that what so it came from? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I sold it to Tex. Yeah. Yeah, Tex is a delight for that. I will. We won't be chasing. We'll be making a rest today, okay? Ah, uh, oh, Jesus. Are we yeah, having an issue right here. now? I think you're having an issue. Yeah, Good. I'll, I'll handle it. Oh. We're leaving oh, shortly. Oh, We're quite literally yeah, just you're doing transactions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally not, not a stick of dynamite or block fix anything. Why do you have a gun at the way? You can search me, Ruben, if you'd like. We're not robbing the goddamn fucking bank. I, I'm not going to fucking search you. They, they just, just did one two days ago. I just came out prepared. To wrap up our business, as you speak of. Wrapping up our business, small puppy. What are you doing? I'm getting sick because I'm hungry. Uh, uh, Mr. Williams, I'm gonna hand you my telegram number because we are being told to leave. Um, ah, uh, yeah, we, you hand me a telegram, you can meet up somewhere. Yeah, Kentucky that Yellow works. 368. Kentucky Yellow 368. Yes. That's my question. The point is, you just fucking held up my sheriff and five other deputies two hours ago. Oh. Oh. Ow. Wait a minute. How are you escorting us out of town? That's that was very contradicting. Yeah. I've had a bad week. I told you. A really I'm bad fucking week. I'm trying to let my head down. I have no intentions to fucking arrest y'all. Now, I'm just asking y'all to leave town for any more animal You're not asking, you're demanding. Hey. I am. Starting to piss me off. I don't like how Ruben's throwing his weight around tonight. He comes into Emerald all on his own, tells us to get the fuck out. Now him and Sadie, just the two of them, telling us to get out of Valentine. It is testing my patience a little bit. Go and check your telegrams. Yeah. Seems like uh, they they all have a lot of balls today. Just Reuben, apparently. The others in Rhodes, it made sense. There was enough of them there. But him, he's just throwing weight around when he's got himself clearly in a situation he's not going to be able to do anything about. Argus is gonna rack up some fucking charges tonight. Mm. Yeah. Where'd you get that jacket? Which 
one? The one you had on just a second ago. Oh, you mean the other one? Yeah, yeah. that was a nice jacket. Oh, okay. You mean this one? Fuck yeah. Damn, dude. I just had a follow-up from Orvid, but I'll read it properly later. It's very long. Um. Oh, it says it's on there. Yep, they all, they all just, yep. <laughs> Sorry, I saw someone else come out. Uh, I thought it was Tim's. Um, so, there's a John Williams guy that wants to meet with you, Hathaway. I just gave him my telegram number because Ruben was yelling at us uh, while he was playing poker. <laughs> Well, let's just go back into town and fucking see him. I mean, Reuben and Sadie were going to Strawberry, right? Well, uh, you wanna go around the right side or the left side? It's, left uh, side. It is 7 p.m. 29. Oh, the, the thing? I'm sorry, what? Uh, okay. Um, okay, we're just gonna go around this side. What's well, 7 p.m.? Assuming the the thing on the tenth. That's what I told you. Yeah, that's what same. Just said the tips just said the same. Oh, is Sam coming along? I don't know. No. no. Tell us we need to wrap up business, and our business is not yet wrapped up. <laughs> Welcome I back, y'all. Yeah. Useless. Welcome back. Howdy. Yeah, howdy. Welcome, Sathway. How you doing? All right. I get back to this if you like. Uh, yeah, John, uh, I've just been told a couple times you wanted to talk to me about something. Yeah, just give me just a second. Alright, not a problem. I'll, uh, I'll be on the porch. Alright, then. Not this one. Is that that Cavendish fellow on the porch, or is that fucking... I have no idea. Okay. Fine. I'll be here. Uh, I can wait. Hey, right, you're good. Go ahead. Alright. Oh, I could need the ladies room. I'll be right back, chat. I really gotta pee.
Do you have an I uh do you have an idea of the location you're going to? Alright, cool. I'll just check out on this. Alright guys. I'm back. Hopefully shit hasn't gone down. Sorry if I broke up your poker game, kid. Nah, it was, uh, it was on the break. All right. Hmm, sorry, I just I've had to pee for the past hour. No, you're all good. I was just concerned about that guy that was on the bank watch. He kind of looked like Cavendish, but he also looked a bit like um. That was that guy's name, the one that was giving us bumps. That was giving us what? The one whose head got beat into the ground by Julio. Um, what's his fuck? Uh, Harry was the one guy. I don't remember the guy's name. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't actually know. I just started riding. I don't know where the hell I'm taking us. Okay. Got up to the Fuck it, up, up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So relatively close to Valentine, but this we're out of town. This will do, right, John? We don't need to go too far out of town. Yeah, we got as best we are. It's just fucking giving us a hard time everywhere we go right now. Well, for starters, I hope everybody's doing okay. Or they sent yeah. you on a little boat ride out to an island. Hope that didn't look bad. No. They actually were looking after me. What's that? They were looking after me after I got shot in the front. Jessica. Oh. Medical. All right, then. Shit, I hope you're doing all right. Yeah, doing better. It's kind of able to talk a little bit more each day, so. Right. That's good. Well, basically, I just wanted to get together with you and your people. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of uh, shit, uh, the motion I've been making here in the cross and, and all of my deals and such, the state and their de uh, departments. Uh, I simply wanted to get a grounds on where you guys are at. Uh, I don't want to step on anybody's toes as far as business. I've, I've done the same thing with the people and family of uh, Sandy and, and, and Blackwater and, and a little bit more out west, but um, I just kind of wanted to get an idea of where you guys are as far as like uh, businesses, ships, stuff like that, uh, the market before I do anything that might uh, impose on your territory. It's kind of a respect thing. Hey, I appreciate it. Yeah, no um, I so just, as like a, an idea, I'm pretty much dealing everything right now uh, besides moonshine and gems. Uh, I just, I'm just not starting a kickstart in my tobacco process. Um, I pretty much inflated the market tremendously, so I'm sorry to everybody who had any hands in that. Uh, I think right now, uh, my packs of cigarettes are selling rapidly at like $20 a pack. Um, so yeah, that market's exploding. Uh, and I know I pissed some people off of that, but what can I say? Uh, other than that, I just wanted to pick your brain about that and see where you're at. Uh, to be honest, um, I met you quite a long time ago, right, John? Oh yeah, you did. Not a yeah. first meeting. No, okay. it feels like over a year since I've seen you. Am I right in thinking that, or are you about more recent? About nine months and some days. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Well, currently, uh, the business I was in that long ago, I'm not really in it anymore. Okay. I appreciate you uh, wanting to talk to me about it, but I don't fence anymore. It's uh, something of the past for me. Yeah, good. So, uh,
Got it, wonderful. I guess the other part of it would be, um, if at all, you ever need anything. Just know you rely on William Straco. We don't discriminate. Oh, well, shout I have out. your uh, telegram, John. I think I did look it up when someone mentioned you wanted to talk, but. Indigo Whiskey 613. 613. Like I said before, I'm relatively quaint on getting my hands on pretty much anything I need, um, as well as building relations uh, amongst us. And I, I've also got contracts with every every bit of the departments of the state. I'm working on getting the doctors, and uh, doctors are kind of weird about their shit because they move around so much. Uh, pretty much every ranger outpost, headquarters, and every law office. Just what kind of uh, contracts do you do with those people? Uh, the state pays me $150 for every one of their locations daily for sh imported goods. Shit, okay. Interesting. Yeah, so I, I, I bring them goods on a regular basis. Uh, give me a set contract fee. My company has $250 set fee for every shipment I do. Um, what kind of goods are you bringing them? Whatever they, whatever they ask for. I think the only thing they never ask for is uh, weaponry of any sort because they just get that from the state. So, literally, whatever else after, after that, imported liquors, uh, medical gear, medical supplies, I should say, food, that sort. And they regularly, regularly refill these contracts with me. Typically, uh, how'd you go about very... We got wagon operators, we've got livery couriers for on foot or single horse traffic. We've got a security detail. I've also linked up with Wesco and made a deal with them for if I need security detail, they will uh, gladly help me out. I think it's a Viper, Viper company or something like that, working with security wise. Yeah. Uh, so I've got their wagons, I've got my wagons, I've got their security, I've got uh, independent security as well. They ever let you set foot in the office when you're making these deliveries, or do they just collect from your wagon? Oh, I, I can go in the office. They let you in the office? Yeah, I follow, I follow a sheriff right in, have a long conversation and coffee with him. Shit. That is interesting. Mm-hmm. I've been there multiple times. Uh, the only two I've got left, uh, I, got a, I got a meeting with Sheriff Hurst. Uh, they're going to come out to like, Blackwater. We're gonna sit down and have a little chat uh, whenever they get around uh, for the Blackwater contract. And then I've got to finish tidying up Tumbleweed. And after that, every single law office will be in the contract. Um, I just talked with the, the game wardens for the Rangers. Um, I'm planning on making a one lump sum payment check for them. So it's, it's gonna be a couple thousand for every outpost of theirs. And then I'm gonna be on like a month basis rather than a daily one. Uh, kind of spilling all the beans down. Then I'm gonna I'll get with the the senior doctors and cover their offices as well. I'm gonna see how far I can stretch my power before the state goes. Hey, calm down. But uh, yeah, I don't think they'll enough. bother me, especially after. I mean, I think they're distracted right now with the whole election thing going on. Yeah. Well, they were. <laughs> well. Other than that. You're this dealing in, That's why uh, I didn't want to step on anybody's toes if I was to keep going. No, you know that I only really have a doubt in the illegal goods anyway, right? Yeah, I do. Like I said, I only don't deal in moonshine. Gotcha. What do you uh, what do you pay for papers? Mm, papers I'm a middleman. Depends on the buyer. Same with uh <laughs> as Christine likes to call them birthday candles. Okay, so you you sell dynamite, right? Any illegal goods, I'm a middleman for. Yes, I can get any kind of dynamite or uh, material for it, yes. Okay. Well, um, we do have places that we sell everything right now, and we do have people to bring us dynamite, but um, you ever have a better price, 
I'd be interested to know about it. What do they currently charge you? 400 for a maid stick. I think four. I think I, I think I can get them for like, I think three. I can check on that send you a telegram, but yeah, I think four is pretty much baseline across the market. Yeah. And uh, we get 25 for our papers and 65 for gold. But I do deal in bulk buy, so how much would you pay for a bulk? I would give you an entire crate. Of dynamite? Of dynamite. Would you ever do a bulk buy? Save some money in the long run. Definitely. You'd have to let me know the price, though. I'm not too familiar on the materials um, as far as like how they bundle, but if you are, you, you know if the materials uh, they can bundle up to a certain amount. Well, if you're gonna do a crate of dynamite, I'm pretty sure that's about 40 stick dynamite. That's a lot. 40 sticks? Yep. And the material, you bundle up or no? To build them? To build them, uh, that's a bit more trick. That's a lot of material. I'd want them made. I wouldn't want the materials. Okay. Irritating. Well, if in the future, if you wanted to sit down and we can come up with something, I perhaps have, well, I know I do. I, I have plenty of employees. I can send out, they can collect all that material for me and I just keep getting them a set salary. I've done it before. I've got one, I've got one cat that does not leave tobacco fields. He is much there 10 hours a day. Well, the, uh, the nitro is the hard one. Uh, from the, whenever it's listed, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so I've heard. I, I guess I, I consider that one pretty much race. A race to the board. I'll pay is. that person a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. All right. So dynamite all is right. pretty much all you worried about in selling papers. Dynamite and selling the goods from the banks. That's that's pretty much it for now. I'd be interested in guns every now and then if you've got them. All right. I'm curious. Uh, the banks. You, you ever still find any guns in them? Oh yeah. I know yeah. they used to. I'm I've got people on, in the market uh, from Mauser, Springfields, Pumps, and Elephants as usual. I got two elephants. If you're able to get a good base. How much you want for elephant? I take five thousand. It's I gotta buy right now. Gotta buy for four. Four cash. Right now. Yes. And they yeah. uh, they were. You'd want to make something on top, and I wouldn't go lower than four. I'd rather keep the thing. No, no, four is giving giving me something. All of my numbers include my fee, my finder's fee. So if you're looking for five, I sell it for four, and I think I make uh, I make that middle ground. You're able to talk them up a little bit. Meet me in the middle. One at five. They're offering four. Get me four uh, and a half. And uh, what if I sell it for four and a half right now? I'd sell it to you for four and a half right now. All right then. Uh, and if either of you could send me a telegram. I'll get it back to you after I can get back to you today. Yeah, do it. I'll meet up and sell that if you can. If you're able to get around, we can do that transaction today. You have a mouse right. pump spring. Uh, we sold a mouse just before Christmas. I sold my field about a week ago. Damn. Uh, I got a. Ooh, I got a. Um, I think a sheriff or a senior deputy looking for a pump. You got a pump? No, uh, I haven't had a pump in about six months. Four days. Yeah, there is a very eager about... senior deputy. He's looking to pay top dollars. So if you find one in any of your jobs, ventures, let me know. Yeah, we'll do. We got pretty think, big offers on pumps, though. It depends. Yeah, last uh, I heard was like it was 15, 18. Um, okay. We get coffee. Fair enough. Well, like that was oh. for one that had work on it. I'm so tired. Yeah, I think uh, I have a standing offer of 12. Yeah, realistically 12. But you know, those uh, the law has uh, they have some pretty deep pockets. Yeah, but they do. Anyhow. 
Well, I'm glad you were able to help me out with that understanding. Um, like I said, I've been I've been going door to door pretty much every every name I can. Scratching them off a list. I don't want you to upset anyone. Uh, you're not gonna upset me by fencing. As long as we get an understanding. Yeah, it's it's in my past now. I mean once everything changed up I kind of switched gears and I'm doing other things. What was it you were asking about the offices for? Just intriguing. You know, if uh they let you set foot inside. Maybe in the future it could be useful. That is very true. If I gotta be a pawn, though, it comes with a price. Of course it would. I expected not to. Yeah. And without a tainted name, I can't lose my business. No, oh, we wouldn't make you look involved. Just, uh... I'm a poor bystander. I don't nothing. Exactly. Yeah, that's fine with me. It's not like I needed it for anything right now. It's just in case I ever do. Yeah, I understand. If, uh... There happens to be a delivery up or whatever, and we needed access to one of them. Maybe, uh, maybe we could put used to it. Now. Maybe you uh, take a little bit too long standing in the doorway, keeping that door open, something like that. That's all it takes. Right. I completely understand. I like. I get headaches a lot. I like to fall over sometimes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, you heard about that, right? I think it's like epilepsy mm -hmm. or something. Bright lights. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, John. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, not a problem. Uh, tell me something. I'm curious. Uh, you guys would be the first ones to have possibly or had the opportunity to bring me papers. What's the market on that? Say again, sorry. Uh, what's, uh, what, what is, what's market the market the like for the papers? Oh, um, there's a few buyers out there right now, but we get 25 a sheet. So we get 50 from a bank. We make 1250 right now. Not as good as what I used to be, but it's not far off. And uh, you have to excuse my ignorance, but I've never been involved in a bank robbery, so I have no idea the fucking purpose of a of of, of one of them. The hell do you do with them? Well, I used to just ship the state, and, you know, selling them for a rainy day. They're worth a lot of money, but um, are they just as valuable as gems? As in, can they be used when debt is in your bank? No, not really. Not anymore. They used to be... Speak easy bonds. Yeah, you can use them to make deliveries. Got it. Understood. You used to just be able to ship them out via some... dodgy fella down in Thieves Landing, but he's not around anymore. I think he got picked up by law. He disappeared, and now the only thing you can do with them is use the job boards. Sometimes you get no job, but usually you get money. Sometimes you get natural, usually you get money. Yeah. Right, when, uh, you, when you make deliveries, you get about 29 to $30 a sheet for the mm. deliveries. So uh, people pay us 25 a sheet, go deliver them, and make uh, a quick 250 bucks profit. Tell you what, would y'all be willing to send me some information? I'd love to cut out a middleman. Yeah, I can, uh, I can I'd let love you a, know. I'd love a recipe book. All right. Yeah, that'd be great. If you can give me a recipe book for the dynamite, I would love to cut out a middleman. <laughs> now that, John, is something I would have to also put a price tag on. Oh, I know. That's why I signed so I'm, I'm putting it out there. You put a price tag on it. Okay. Number don't scare me. You just have to let I'll let know. you know. Yeah. I'll, uh, no I'll think about it. Shouldn't All be too right, hard. Right. Yeah, I can do that for you. Other than that, you got anything else? Are we good? Ah, I think that's everything. Do uh, deal in a lot of gems. I'm still sitting on a massive stockpile, so if you ever need any, I have a set price, but I got plenty of those. Sounds good. Well, when I say I plenty, I mean uh, I have plenty, however much you need. You have plenty of gems. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you see, the thing about the gem market is too many people have their hands in it right now. I like to dwell in uh, low stock companies. I feel like everybody's got stock in it. Yep. 
All right, John. Well, um, we won't keep you any longer. That's uh, that's everything. Mm. All right, yeah. Yeah, likewise. You'll be safe out there. Yeah. You too, John. Say, question. Y'all right around, uh, know anything about the, uh, what is it, the Ruby Lola gang? We know them. Yeah, we've done some work. No, who do they write? Like, they got a name, a name or something? Black Hats. Black Hats. Got it. Thank you. No problem. All right, y'all have a good night. You too. Mm. Is it a little bit strange? Okay. Oh, when did we lose Sam? We lost an emerald. No, wait, no, no we time. lost. Yeah, he had to go get food. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, that man was a little strange, but. Could uh, write back into Valentine and just check telegrams one more time. Okay. I haven't heard back from anyone else I was meant to meet tonight, so I guess we just carry on looking around to see if we can't wipe up all you. My voice is killing me. <laughs> I really do need that. Yeah, I just feel like it's really hard for you. you let me be your voice coach to the right marks and say everything. You're gonna want to take the road to go across the bridge. Left towards Valentine. Surprisingly, I'm wide awake. I believe you. I think I've been awake eight hours less than you, Julio, and I'm already feeling it. I'm knackered. Also feeling it. What did you just say? I'm knackered. That's not a real knackered. Word. Is a word. No, it's Nacker. fucking not. It's not a real word. Yes, it is. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, sorry. Alright. Surely not. Excuse me. Cobra. What? Oh. Cobra. Yes, what? The, what you Cobra. were. Yes, what? An, come out here. Should I go out there? Yeah. Come here, George. <laughs> what is the meaning of putting a gun to you? I'm sorry, man. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a part of the career, man. I'm sorry. My, yeah, I, I do elaborate dancing. I'm, re I'm reformed. Man. I'm reformed. Yes. You've reformed since we saw you in Rose. Yeah. Here, wait. Look, I learned something. 
Oh, you're doing the phone. Yeah. Oh. I can hear the tune. Wait, 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 wait. I learned something else. Oh, good news. I learned. Oh, no. Does he have narcolepsy? At a brief. A beaver! I think he's um, trying to bite you. George, why would you try to bite me? He's I think he barrel. likes you. Because I like you. Barrel? Barrel? George, you will not be pleased if you bite me. Most of my skeletal structure is made out of a metal alloy. <gasps> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! What? Well, well, why, is, why is that so unusual? I fell off the hot air balloon. Can I fucking knew. Can I take you? That's true. He did fall out of our air balloon. Take can I, can I, well, can I, can I take you out to dinner? Oh, good lord. <laughs> well, this a at least it's not me anymore. Yeah? Mm, I am sorry to say that I am in a committed romantic partnership. Uh, I'm so sorry. I might have stepped oh. into something. I was saying that the train yes. is going to be departing now. Oh, oh I must so go. I'm going happen. on the train. <laughs> All of you, go, go to the sheriff's department and turn yourselves in. Thank you. Damn. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, Damn, George. Time. That was actually okay. really polite. Damn, George, yeah, you got rejected. You got rejected. Say anything. George got rejected by his one true love. Okay, oh, damn. damn. Nice. It's fine, you have Scrumpy. No, oh, yeah, I'm gonna fuck Scrumpy. Oh, come on, yeah, the man. We've all got to go and turn ourselves in. <laughs> all right, let's go turn ourselves Wait, in. Wait, am I included in the turning myself in? Am I, I don't know. You're Maybe. Criminal. I guess. Rawr. Should we, uh, <laughs> should we chase the train and rob it now? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you're injured. <laughs> injured. I know, it I'm not putting myself best. in there. Party in, Sisiga. <laughs> I could take her load. I have a very important meeting tomorrow. Wait, what is today? Is today Wednesday? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yes, I have a very important meeting one. I can't be in Sisa. Oh, 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 <laughs> 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 Are you okay? Are you okay? There There is nothing there. What What I hate Valentine. <laughs> Especially when you got mud on your face. Oh my god. Now you might want to go take a bath. Yeah. It do be kind of stinky here. You got schmud in your meat hole. Oh my god. <laughs> we, gotta, uh -huh. we gotta get it in here. Uh, can we please leave Valentine? I'm tired of this Valentinian shit. <laughs> yes. Well, I eventually need to go to Pronghorn, but I'm not going to do it today. Uh, why do you need to go to Pronghorn? Uh, I need to give them a horse. Oh, fuck it. We're not doing anything else. Let's go to Pronghorn. Yeah, let's do it. Why not today? Why not today? Why not today? Because no. We need something to do. Yeah, yeah. Julio, really, oh, why? We can just go. We're, we're not doing anything else. I kind of want to go mine. <laughs> he has a mining know. addiction now. Definitely not my fault. Well, I just want to think about some tunes. So, uh, you know, and just and just mine, you know? What, do you, what, what type of tunes? Uh, why aren't we going to front horn? <laughs> Huh? So, why aren't we going to Palm Horn if we have nothing to do? I don't know, because I don't want to go there yet. That's why. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I kind of don't want to go there yet. Uh, um. Who wants to go mining with me? I don't typically go mining at this time of night. It's mm -hmm. more of a daytime activity for me. It's more of a, if I need to make money and I can't sleep. That's fair. Uh, 
Where are Robert Train? Pathway is injured. <clears throat> Sorry. I would love to if I don't have to end in front of any guns, but I'm not sure what part of robbing a train involves us getting guns pointed at us. I'm not against it. It's law and boys, they will point guns at us. Ah, it's just Edison. Ah, it's not more than just Edison on that train. Hmm. Good. It could be dangerous. I know be yeah. worth it. I don't think it's worth it for your condition right now. No. Yeah, that's fair. I said earlier after the roads thing, uh, we shouldn't instigate anything right now because I'm in no position to start a fight, you know. But if they come looking for us and shooting at us, then of course I'm going to shoot them. Fuck okay, it, we want to see the bastards at home. Yeah, why not? The peeps then? Yeah. I do want to try and go get some money. My, my bank account is you know, low, so I may peel off here and uh, come back in like an hour. That's okay. Uh, Hathaway, is that okay? You can nod if it's okay. Just telegram us. Alright, uh, uh, do you, do you all think you're gonna be awake for another hour or two? Yeah. I will be. Oh, well, you better be. Man, I'm staying awake for five you... and a half more hours. Yeah, you, you better be. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? What? Sound like a beaver. Um, yeah, just... Tyler, <laughs> and we'll tell you where we are. Uh, should I go to Annisburg or should I go to... Oh, what gives the most gems? Um, honestly, you're most likely to get gems out of the gold mine in Roanoke or Gap Tooth and all the way out west. Uh, Gap Tooth is the only mine that gives you emeralds. But you don't really get quote there anymore. Yeah, I don't really need coal. Uh, alright, I guess I'm gonna go to Gab too. Um, keep so. the flint. <clears throat> keep the flint you get. Uh, gather sticks, and... It's... Torches. Yeah, you make torches, and you make more money off torches, and you would sell anything. Alright, um... Let's see. Well, I will see y'all in about an hour or two. I'll let you know what I get. Uh, yeah, be safe. Stay safe. Yeah. This is gonna be a long fucking ride. I will see y'all later. So, this one's a no go. It is 8 p.m., so we have a little bit longer to go before we figure out if Tibbs is winning or losing. We've got. 25 minutes until we figure out for tips. Mm. Uh, just wait. Mm. Uh, now we just gotta wait for Halfway to wake back up. Alright. Sam apparently likes this coat. It's a good looking coat. Uh, 
it might be a minute, so let's just go over here and we can relax a little bit. Okay. That's a little tree of trees, actually. It's kind of cute. Yeah. I'm so dirty. I have to take a bath. <laughs> that means we are outside Valentine's if you really want to take a bath. I just think we should wait for. It's probably not a good idea to go into town alone. We're back in right now while we're waiting. Uh, do you really think of trouble? Well, maybe. I guess. Maybe barely for like brandish. I don't think they'll If you're hanging with us, trust me, you're <laughs> in trouble. Um, yeah, I don't think they'll give too much of a shit about like brandishing or something. Even if you do end up getting, you know, caught for yeah, whatever no, reason. I'm not they like Yeah. I think it's me and August to have what the. Uh, you have what two banks on you right now or one how much how many uh, two currently okay so and you have two i have one yeah just that on me right now um no i'm not too worried i just don't want to go to sissica tonight because i have a meeting i have to be a part of tomorrow that's what i'm saying it's just like brandishing or something you I, you know You'll more than likely probably sit in a cell. <sighs> yeah. All right, let's go. Is he here? Oh. Damn it! I just started wheeling. Sorry. I just started wheeling. My brain just hurts today. It's fine. Jordan's gonna meet back up with us in an hour. <clears throat> He's gonna meet back up with us. Uh, in an hour. Where'd he go? Uh, to mine. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Whatever that was, just uh, staring at us. Pretty sure okay. it's Beatrice. <clears throat> yeah, it's Beatrice. Who's Beatrice again? She used to be with the theater crew, at least be around them a lot. I'm not so sure now. Timid young lady. Well, you met her over at Emerald once, right? Someone was speaking with her. I remember.
Well, I definitely lost them. Yes, you did. <laughs> Uh, yep, and then it's on you. You really like kicking those things, don't you? Just the one that knocks me off my horse. You know, people come out and poach those things all the time. It's probably not the same one. Well, you know what? They're all gonna pay for it. It's fine. <laughs> Fair enough. Crazy bastard in Thieves gives you nitroglycerin for like three of them. <laughs> Took me fucking forever to go out and collect more once. I had to chuck them in the back of one of those wagons. Decided he's gonna take a detour into the water. Hmm. Well, there's a campfire, so someone was here. Check the board, why not? One of them's for 124. I actually didn't look at this for 15 bucks. Who you? Damn. Not great. 124. 15 bottle one is 152. Is your hand hurting right now? No, I can ride if you want. Uh, I just want six mine's still hurting. I kind of forgot you said yours was hurting there, and it's not you because I didn't know where we were going. Um, do we 
on and just keep checking boards for right now, see if there's anything interesting. Yeah, do you want to go look at some boards, see if we can find some work? Sure, why not? None of those people that I was meant to meet with have got back to me other than Orvid, so... Yeah, I haven't gotten a telegram from Gwen, so... Sorry, chat. I'm getting a little quiet. I'm getting a little tired. Um, but we're not ending stream anytime soon. I told you yeah. earlier that we'd go meet with this Gwen woman. Mm. Alright. He said something interesting earlier. She wants to give us information on something. I don't know what it is. Interesting. Okay. I said we'd meet with her. It's about. What the fuck? Hmm. Thank you too, already. I just taken a stroll. Fine. Um. You just. I'm oh, just curious, you know, we don't normally walk around. Don't normally oh, see yeah. people walking around. Well, they yeah, we find a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, We're going to I'm not opposed to it. I like to walk around a bit too. I just right. don't normally see other people doing it. Yeah, we haven't seen a single soul else yet doing it, so... Not that common, I guess. Don't you need the Blackwater? You're 56 minutes. Don't need a Blackwater? 56 minutes? That's an impressive time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it's taken us, what, like, 20 minutes to get from Armadillo to here, but we also bought some moles and dig some plants, so... Yeah. 20 minutes is still pretty good from Armadillo. Oh, God. That's impressive. Well, Alright. Well, uh, enjoy the rest of your walk. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank good you. Night. Have a good one. Bye. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Please give us something good. Um, one twenty five. I know these are good. Mm -mm. Oh. The best one is one twenty nine. I'm sure we can I'm find sure we better. Can find yeah. Go check Cattail. Uh, 
Tim's, is there anything you need to do tonight? No, I have call right now. <laughs> you have what? Like, I have call right now. I don't have anything. I, uh... Since I last purchased anything, I have taken a step back for uh, reasons I've already talked to you about. Okay, well, fair enough. All right. Well. So I have like ten bonds and. Uh, are you finding any jobs with for those? No. I actually haven't considered really looking, but. That's like an easy one to do. That's true. All right, let's uh, let's head on over to Cattail and see if we can find anything good. I'll follow you. Well, uh, we'll stop eggs. Check telegrams. I feel like I've uh, reached a stage of fatigue with nothing going on. It, yeah, <clears throat> it's uh, unfortunate. I thought you just wanted to go town to town and go looking for the deputies. But you didn't want me to uh, put us at risk of a fight happening in town, so. I don't know, I don't want to risk a fight if there's more th more of them than us. It's... We can catch I one mean... or two of them together, that's fine. It's not a problem. Yeah, if we want to go looking for them, we can. We have the list. I didn't... That's why I haven't I been didn't... suggesting it, because... No, I didn't mean abandon altogether, I just mean... Oh, put I was gun on thinking them in the town, it. you know? Yeah, yeah, I wasn't thinking of abandoning it, I just keep seeing them as groups, so I didn't think we'd find any alone together. Is that where we've been again? Yeah. Half a mind to fucking rob his ass just. I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah, let's leave it alone. Sam's around again. He said he's done eating. Okay, that's good. Uh, uh, do you want to tell or do you want to I'll tell him I've got him right here. You 
look very pretty. What? What? I said you look very pretty. Thank you. You do too. Where did that come from? I feel like it's been very quiet today, so I needed to tell you. <laughs> I appreciate I'm gonna you. I'm going to go use a bush really quick. I like that you're rocking with us. Did you get anything back yet? No, just so. Okay, Julio's peeing in a bush. Lovely. I told Sam to meet us in that camp. Which one? The one above? Yeah. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. There's, there's something very important that's missing. What's that? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry, I forgot to buy lipstick on. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that was that was probably my bad. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Welcome to hanging out with the barn tips. <laughs> having me tag along here and there. Well, I guess I've been around a lot lately. Are you gonna make my horse too, Hathaway? No, probably not. They've got a hard enough horses. being a horse. <laughs> All these horses. All of my horses hate them. <laughs> horses it's really funny. Stupid. Trouble kicks them all the time. Well, she has trouble, and I guess she's for me, so. Not their fault, they're stupid. They were born horses. They couldn't help it.
I think to myself for a moment, if that's okay. And I'm from okay. Yo, brother. food real quick. We're gonna do this just so you can see everybody. We had a conversation. We'll be right back. <clears throat> Rodney, a man <clears throat> of the land. He worked hard every day to make his living, constantly tending crops and animals. He wore a wide brimmed hat to shield his face from the beaming hot sun, and a plaid shirt which accented his muscular, hairy arms. He had a dark, rugged beard that covered his jawline and a pair of bright, almost piercing blue eyes that sparkled with life. He was confident in his skills as a human, although his day-to-day -day life made him simple. He still exuded confident, confidence and masculinity in everything he did. I suck at reading out loud. I don't know why I'm doing this. Rodney was not afraid of the sweat and enjoyed the simple pleasures of life, being able to handle a bucking horse and knowing his way around a lasso. Or I guess as you say, a lasso. Rodney lived out a nice, cozy little homestead just east of a beautiful town called Brooks End. The town had a saloon, a bank, and a general, sh a general shop. But the crowning jewel of Brooks End was a large plot of open grass next to a flowing river, where a market would take place every Saturday. These markets would sprawl with people buying all sorts of things, from different cheeses and meats, to hand-knitted quilts and clothing, and Rodney had made a point to attend each week so that he could mingle and meet the townsfolk. Now this morning was like most days around Brooks End. It was rather warm, the sun rays shining through the sparse clouds that were floating through the sky. Rodney sprung out of bed at around 9 o'clock a.m. I love the specifics. And put on his signature plaid shirt as well as some pants, chaps, and a weathered pair of black boots. He started his day with some coffee, a fried egg, and three sausages before heading out, saddling his horse and riding towards Brooks End. Despite how many times he did this ride, the beauty of the surrounding landscape never seemed to go unappreciated. Truly, it was magnificent. Trees taller than anything you could imagine. Flowers growing everywhere, as birds chirped and butterflies fluttered past. It was enchanting. But after riding for about two hours, his ride was interrupted by the sound of four horses clopping towards him. As he admired the views, rather, uh, he was quickly surrounded by three men and one woman. They were dressed in all black, with masks covering their faces. They were noticeably, er, sorry, they very noticeably all wore black duskers that were adorned with decorations of skulls. But before he could even fathom what was about to happen, he heard a woman's voice. 
Is this handsome? Her boy head to the market today. The voice is sultry. I wish I could do that. Flirtatious, and although in a normal conversation this could seem like an innocent teasing, this is rather sinister. Rodney looked up and chuckled. After doing this ride a couple hundred times, I guess I got a bit too comfortable. His gaze <laughs> met the eye of the mysterious woman who spoke. They were as green as the leaves growing on the trees surrounding them. They were beautiful and yet didn't show a hint of sympathy. Listen up, handsome, she said in a flirty tone that quickly turned serious. We don't want to hurt you, and we'd love to keep it that way, but you'll have to do every little thing we say, she said, smirking beneath her mask. Or else we'll have to blow your head off. As those words escaped her mouth, she quickly unholstered her gun and pointed it towards his face. Rodney nodded slowly, rather calmly, and he raised his hands up. But he began er, and begun to speak. Listen, I don't have a gun, to be honest. I barely have any. He was cut off by one of the men in the group. Well now, we don't want your fucking money. We need you as a fucking hostage. This time tomorrow, we'll be blowing into that goddamn bank in Brooks End, and we'll be rich. He shouted, speaking rather quickly before letting out a deep belly laugh. The man was rather portly, his mask barely contained his big bushy beard and his voice, which was rather deep, annoyed everyone nearby. The woman's eyes snapped, <laughs> snapped to him Back while chat, still I'm just keeping her gun traced in Rodney's eat. head. I wasn't aware you had such a passion for speaking, she shouted sarcastically. Why don't you tell the hostage every little detail of our plan next, she shouted, so angry her voice was still smooth. The man spoke up, his mind a bit of a muddle. Well, I, I didn't think. This time, it was his voice being cut off. No, you never think. Now shut the fuck up and tie that pretty boy up over there, she commanded as she gestured towards Mo Rodney. The man got off his horse and roughly pulled Rodney down from his before pushing his face into the dirt and hog-tying him with his lasso. The man then put Rodney on the back of the woman's horse. Jesus Christ, Rodney muttered under his breath. A bit rough here, aren't we? He managed to stifle a smile at his own joke. The woman quickly followed up. If you think that's rough, I'd hate to actually hurt you, she said sinisterly, with a bit of a smirk between her mask. So don't make us have to. She breathed quick or she breathed a quick sigh, please. She sounded serious and rather annoyed. She used her own rope lasso and lead Rodney's horse alongside her own. Then the group began to head into the tree line. Conversation was short and far between. But after about an hour of riding, they approached the camp with four tents and an extinguished campfire. There was some assortment of empty cans and bottles tossed around the campgrounds, as well as some hitching posts. They dismounted, hitched their horses, then the woman untied Rodney. He got off the back of the horse and stumbled a bit before he spoke. So what are, uh, what are we going to do for the next 24 hours, he said in a playful manner. Well... I'm in charge of you, she said sternly. I'm going to hunt some deer, and you're going to stay with me. She ordered as she walked past him towards the tents and began searching the campground for a hunting rifle. Wonderful idea. That gives me more than enough op opportunity to get away, he said in a joking manner, chuckling at his own joke. He was right. How did one woman plan to hunt a deer while keeping track of a hostage for the next 24 hours? It would be a tough undertaking, even for the roughest, toughest groups of bandits, let alone one woman. As she picked up her rifle, she immediately pointed it to Rodney once again, this time aiming down her sights intently. You better make sure it's a goddamn good opportunity, she said with a slight pause, only to follow up the words that could shake someone to their core, or else I'll kill you, she said with a very serious tone as she held her focus. Meanwhile, Rodney walked back and forth, trying to regain control of his legs. After the long ride, he found it hard to walk. But with every step, the woman followed him with her rifle. Yeah, I get it, he said with an eye roll. If I run, I'll die. He looked down at the ground in front of him and let out a deep sigh. Glad you get it, partner. Now let's get to work, she said with a strange bit of glee as she put her rifle on her back. She then gestured to Rodney to follow her as she began to hike through some trees. She walked away from the camp, every so often stopping to study the ground around her, searching for any signs of wildlife. While she hunted, Rodney followed behind, listening to each instruction carefully, as if his life depended on it. Crouching when she said crouch, running when she said to run, 
until some hours later, they finally found it. A tall, mighty stag stood up <laughs> atop a hill grazing in the grass. The majestic animal looked as if it could feed the camp for today and possibly in the next two or three days to come. The woman crouched down in some bushes, slowly inching her herself towards the stag, and eventually she got close enough. She stood stoically, wiped some sweat from her brow before aiming down the sights, and then, with a deep breath, bang! My god, that timing. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, okay. That's, uh, that's irony for you. <laughs> I'm almost done. I can stop whatever you want me to. No, keep going. I like it. For the ones that stop me reading the story. Yeah. A bullet <laughs> flew through the air and straight into the head of the tall, wild stag. It fell quick and hard. Then the masked woman looked over to Rodney. Well, you'll be bringing that back to camp. Get to it, she said as she gestured towards the animal's carcass. Of course I am, Rodney said, rolling in his eyes as he began to climb the hill. As he stood over the animal, he looked round, taking in the landscape, seeing the beauty in every situation. He watched as the light breeze blew through the trees, and as the birds flew from branch to branch, chirping a beautiful tune, and the mysterious masked woman watching his every move, when suddenly, to his surprise, he heard... <coughs> Roar! Ah! Roar! Thud, thud, thud. <laughs> a bear came from the tree line, charging on all fours, straight for the masked woman, sprinting, causing the earth around it to shake violently. The woman turned quick and aimed her rifle at the bear, but she froze up. She couldn't take the shot. No! Rodney yelled as he ran down the hills towards the mysterious woman and the bear. He was shouting all sorts of obscenities to attract the bear's attention, but it was no use. The bear was now too close to the masked woman. She shrieked, Please, help me! As she tried to run towards Rodney before getting tackled to the ground by the bear, her rifle flew out of her hands into the dirt. Get him off me! She yelled out in fear. Then Rodney closed the gap, running as fast as his legs would take him. He was face to face with the bear atop his kidnapper, thinking fast. Uh, he scoured the ground looking for the fallen rifle, but he couldn't find it anywhere, so he trusted his instincts. Ah, get the fuck off her, Rodney yelled, before running towards the bear and giving it a swift kick. Uh, swift kick the snout. Stop. Then another kick. Get the fuck back. The bear stood up on his hind leg, allowing the mysterious woman to crawl free. She quickly grabbed her rifle, took a breath, and took aim, delivering a shot directly at the bear's head. Bang! One shot quickly followed by a deep breath. Then the bear let out another bellowing roar. Roar! Bang! Bang! Two more shots. The woman screamed as she was splattered with the bear's blood. And then, as quickly as the bear had charged her down, it fell, lifeless. I love that those shots ringing out. The woman got to her feet and turned to Rodney, who was a bit shaken up. That was your opportunity, pretty boy, she said, staring him down. It was the first time she took a real good look at him. Standing tall with beautiful, piercing blue eyes. His well-kept beard and massive size, but still mm, stunned with fear and him? the realization of what he had done. Saving the life of someone who wanted to harm him just to be a prisoner once again. No. No fucking way, he mumbled to himself as he shook his head, clearly disappointed. Do you, uh, you all good? Sorry. <laughs> there was just like a little bird. Uh, that's right. That was your chance to leave and you missed it, she said, as she looked him over once again before glancing at the bear laying dead at her feet. But sometimes left life gives you a second chance. She gestures towards him and pointed southeast towards Brook's End. Are you sure? He asked in a very inquisitive tone. He still didn't trust the woman, even after saving her life. The woman then took off her hat and pulled her mask down for the first time as she was ab and she was absolutely beautiful. She had rosy red lips that seemed soft with a cute tiny nose. Her eyes shined like emeralds under the hot desert sun. She had quite a many freckles spotted on her cheeks and nose, too many to count, and one deep scar across her cheek. Her short wet red curls framed her face beautifully and now Rodney understood the need for a mask. This was the face that was unforgettable. She approached him and handed him her rifle before leaning in closely, saying, Stay safe, Rodney. As her warm breath brushed against his neck, 
Thanks for saving me back there, she said again, as she was now able to show off the warm, somber smile she hid from the world all day. Rodney looked at her dumbfounded. Thank you, but I must ask, what is your name, madame? With a glint in his eyes. Well, how about you wait at the bank at Burke's End tomorrow at about 11 o'clock p.m.? I can tell you everything you want to hear there, she said. This time her warm smile turned into a flirty, mischievous smirk. That's how it ends. <clears throat> Was this yeah. Ralph's book? Yes! <clears throat> Ralph's book. You want to do it, Ralph? I'm sorry, you had some bees. I did. Mm. You had bees yeah. too. Mm. Oh, we all must yeah. have. Yeah, Ralph, Ralph did. He also put a note at the, this. Want to hear it? Yeah. It's for me. Oh. Dear Tiv, I know you still hate me, and I'm sorry. I understand that I messed up by telling my friends what happened before I even understood the whole, whole story. I know you probably haven't thought of it much. And how you feel about me. I'm not great at talking, but I wanted to give you this book as a gift and write this message for you. We're in pretty different circles, so I know we don't get to see each other a lot. If you're ever in Armadillo, I'd love to get a drink with you and just have fun. I do want to reiterate that I am sorry. I hate to burn bridges with any possible friends. But the thing I hate most about what I've done to you is the fact that I felt like I burnt the bridge before even starting to build one. I don't think he wrote... It just doesn't sound like Ralph. Mm. I'm not sure. Did he, uh, did he bring you the book self, or did he have someone deliver it? No, he, it was a sweet gram so he had Miss Oni send it to me with a cupcake. Also, sorry, I was not planning on reading that whole thing out. I really suck at reading out loud, because I read too fast for my, my voice, if that makes sense. Like, I stumble over myself, because I... That was good. I remember when um, he sold you a copy, August. I remember the name Rodney. Mm -hmm. So you've read it then? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Hi, Sam. Also, by the way. Thank you. Yes. Welcome. Um, no, I haven't read the book yet, but I bought one off Ralph, and I'm just happy for once it wasn't me reading the book. <laughs> I don't really read out loud too often, so I guess that was a special for you guys. Uh, I always do, because every time we get a book, I read it aloud. I didn't know how long it was going to take for Sam to get here. So. I've, uh, I've read The Ballad of Slick Rick 2 and 3 out loud, but nobody was around, so I was just reading it myself. But no, you, uh, out loud. You read, you read the third one to us. <laughs> oh, I did? Uh, when I finally get the first one, I'll, uh, I'll read it. <clears throat> and I read half of the second aloud. You good, Sam? Sam's <laughs> uh, daydreaming or something. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, chat, for clearing my throat so much. I didn't catch any of that, August. Sorry. <laughs> uh, apparently.
George's telegrams. And oh, oh, sorry, I was daydreaming. What? Check in the speakeasy points if you'd like. Oh, there goes Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I guess we're waiting for Sam. Yep. I guess I should have stood up. Ah, Stay sorry. Back down. We could head to, uh, well, we're at Rakes, right? So we just check telegrams down there and then go to, uh, Cattail. Sounds good to me. I love apples. Yum, yum, yum. Me fucking ha. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to be honest. I think that was Lynch. I'm not sure that. I wonder who was doing all the sound effects for the book. Shuba was a hunter, it wasn't enough shot to be a shootout or something. Or it was. I'm just being nosy now. Or what, sorry? I said it could have been wolves. Yes. Sorry, I didn't understand what you said. I just agreed. Or could have been wolves. I got it at that time. Maybe. Or could have been wolves. I, I got it. I, I heard you the last time. You're all right. Miming wolves now? Yeah. Okay. lost the wager. Hey, stop that. Which wager? Which wager are you guys talking about? Mine? Yeah. Hmm. I lost a lot. I didn't think I was gonna go to bed. 
I said eight yesterday. Sneaky enough, eh, hey, mate? Dibs, don't ask. <laughs> I'm not asking anything. Yes, fucking right, don't fucking ask. <laughs> And if somebody hurts you, I wanna fight. But my hand's been broken one too many times. What hey, the heck? That's my stick. Ah, 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 <laughs> ah. Halfway, get out of the fire. Like a pile? Uh, ah! Oh! Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. no! <laughs> you kick in the head? I'm sorry! Too many times. So I'll use my voice. I'll be so damn rude. Words they always win, but I know I'll lose. Taking Sam so long. I don't know. I have a feeling he'll be waking back up shortly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm all dirty again. One second. I'm gonna go have a bath. It'd be a good time to talk now. Oh yeah, you want yeah. to talk about everything going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So whatever you do, don't fucking step in the fire. I don't need you two burning. I, um... <sighs> Ever since the whole situation with Flash, I've just been angry. And this shit with Billy Joe, it just made it worse. Tried to... I just tried to bottle it up. I gotta be straight away here, Leo. Mm. 
I still don't even know who Flash is or what the ship with him is. I know he did something to Fenton, but I barely know Fenton. Well, I'll tell you exactly what happened and why it's been affecting me a lot more lately. Well, Flash recruited all of us. We were going to start a gang together or whatever. He was going to be, you know, the leader or whatever. You know, the whole, the saying, uh, give a man something to do so he doesn't go out and, you know, cause a ruckus or whatever. Idle hands do the devil's work. Mm -hmm. those lands. Yep. Well, he sent us after Tim Turd. Why? Because... Flash had a vendetta with Lavinia and he wanted it settled. What does Tim Ted have to do with a vendetta against Lavinia? So Lavinia and some of the Freys showed up and stole from his from his store. Which when I spoke with Lavinia that day when we were at the Oasis. All she did was steal a hundred dollars from his till. That's it. The boys left it a mess, but she only stole a hundred dollars. So, how does Tim Turd come into that? <clears throat> well, Tim Turd was constantly coming to Valentine. And Flash was assuming that Tim Turd was snaking him and working with Lavinia. Mm -hmm. Getting information from Flash and reporting back to Lavinia. Assumptions. It was then later confirmed, supposedly by Ralph from Flash's mouth. Flash wanted to do something about it. Flash sent his new group, which was us, to go after Tim. Beat the living shit out of him, break his arm. Which we did. We did. We did not, however, not realize that Flash was going to be picked up that very same night by Ralph and Tim Turd and a couple others. It was taken to the frontier and held over the ravine. Was not beaten for literally ten minutes. They barely touched him. They dangled his weapons over the ravine. And he gave up our names to them like it was nothing. When Flash spoke with majority of the group, he didn't speak to me face to face. Because my whole thing is, is the biggest thing that I hate is betrayal. I did not want to see Flash face to face because I knew if I saw him, he broke my trust. I was going to shoot him. To prevent me from even doing that so I can clear my head and think exactly what I wanted to do, I avoided him. Well. He ends up running into me in Valentine the very same day, trying to speak to me about it. And I told him to fuck off and I left. He calls me a piss ass. He only says he dropped my name and Fenton's, but when we find out later on, he dropped everyone's name on the job. Mine, Dex, Fenton, and Tucker or Boyle. made me want to kill him even more. Tried to bottle it up inside and try to let it go, but it's just festered. I 
wanted my revenge. I later on let it go after hanging out with Billy Joe for so long, but then started realizing that Billy Joe and Flash are almost the same. So what did Billy do that you're so pissed about? Do you know exactly why I'm pissed about him or pissed at him? We're punching you after that job we did. Mm hmm And it's not the, the, the fact that he punched me. It's the fact that he talks about this you know, how he's an outlaw and he believes in the outlaw ways, outlaw code. But he had did something because of a fucking promise he made to someone. That doesn't even see him in the highest regard anymore. That hates his fucking guts. Then the whole thing with Gwen just... That's... <laughs> One thing after the other. Then almost dying at the hands of fucking Pavel Boris. was knocking at my door that's why I've been absent-minded lately angry trying to keep my composure People keep telling me, you're not the same Julio I met a long time ago when you first came here. You've changed. Something has happened to you. It's when you meet death in the face. Something inside you changes. And there has been a darkness inside of me that I have hid for years that is slowly creeping back. If it wasn't for you guys there, if it was somebody else in Rhodes, I probably wouldn't have hesitated to pull the trigger on that sheriff. Because you, well, because you guys told gave the order not to to leave I didn't do it I've just been so angry I only told August not to do it because I couldn't afford to get shot again too soon we had to leave yeah there were less of them there was a chance that a frat could have worked we could have uh, pulled guns and just made them do what we wanted, but... It was Reuben and them. them showed up there, you know? Yeah. Well, Reuben was about to get shot in Valentine for his fucking slick-ass remark. Me and Reuben have quite a history. We were friends for some time. Before you know, we put the badge on. You know the only reason why he didn't draw... It's because no one else drawed. And can't see it, bear to see you get hurt again. You're my friend. And that's also another thing that has been eating at me. You got hurt, and even though you say it wasn't my fault, I wasn't there. 
Hey, no, that wasn't anyone's fault. That was my fault. Well, I was. Let me ask you something. Mm. Really, by that line of thinking, mm. do you think it's my fault because I wasn't there? No. Then shut you the think fuck it's my up. fault because I fault. left? No, it's nobody's fault. Okay. I'm just. It's my own stupid fault. I made a bad call. I uh. I was pissed that they went in, and that's for all I knew, August was still at his. I, uh. I chose a bad fight. I mean, I can poked my head out at the wrong time and got caught with a bullet. It's no one's fault but my own. I just wish I could have been there. I regret not being there, Dwight. Yeah, but there's been plenty of times when you have there, so don't worry about it. Can't always be there. Yeah. I ever told you the truth about what really happened back in Mexico? You may have, but remind me. I had to kill the man who took my eye. I killed yeah. him right in front of my beloved. I think I recall you saying something about when they called you out Diablo or something. Yeah, that's not the reason why. Because I had to kill her too. She left me no choice. After killing her brother, she charged at me with a knife. Screamed at her and told her to stop. That this was the life that he chose. There was no other way. It was either me or him. And then a split second. I ended up stabbing her with that very same knife. We ended up tussling. She fell and I fell. And I ended up stabbing her. keep my personal life secret. Don't like getting too close to people because I'm afraid. I can't speak for everyone else here, Leo, but if I ever give you a reason to think that I'm going to kill you, I'm not going to put it past you to defend yourself and kill me first, you know. It's... It makes sense in my head. Did whatever you had to do. Yeah. Everyone here has probably done crazy shit in their past that they were not proud of or don't like talking about. That's why I promised myself that I would never love again. Never say never. Yep. Learned that the hard way. As much as she's cold-hearted, 
Gwen does care about me. But I think so does Arya too. Arya kind of confuses me. I find confusing a little bit more interesting, I'll be honest. Well, to be fair, they're both fucking confusing to me. Maybe I'm biased, I just like her more. You didn't piss me off in the first five minutes, mean enough. Yeah, true. Arya still has my tie. Wonder if she's wearing it now. But that's what's going on with me lately. Just a never ending rage that I bottled up because I tried to let my revenge go. You squared things away with Pavel. Yeah. That's not the revenge that I want. You understand that's the reason why we offered you us in the bond? It's because you were able to let something like that go? It was a sensible decision? I know. And I know with Pavel it happens, you know? Sometimes you're on the other side of the gunfight. You get banged up, you get fucked up. I don't hold him against... I don't... I don't hold that against him. It's the betrayal that I'm most concerned about with Flash. What he did. He lied. Doubled down. Shot one of my friends. And then ran like a coward. It's more or less I don't want revenge for myself. I want revenge for Fenton. I can tell you you're not going to get past it until you deal with it. I know that from personal experience. I know. I was told a long time ago by a friend of mine. Sometimes revenge is something that we cannot afford. But sometimes it's best served cold when it needs to be dished out. When those deputies came to the slaughterhouse the other night, I thought Briggs was the person I spoke to about a year ago when I was uh, planning on going to Guama, dealing with Delilah. Law have no jurisdiction in Guama. Anything that happens, they can't arrest anyone for, even if someone's murdered. That person can come to the crossing, do whatever the hell they want, they're not wanted for it. So I was going to go try and get revenge for Jim. I thought Briggs was the person that spoke to me on the docks in Blackwater. And they told me, if you go seeking revenge, you better dig two graves. Kind of stuck with me ever since. Uh, been a lot of times I've wanted to seek revenge. And a few people I'd still like to go after. And uh, it's not always fit. I will say you're probably not going to get busted until you do something about it. Might be a crude way of putting it, Julio, but shit will get off the pot. One day he'll show his face again. 
But at that point, would I really want to fucking pull the trigger at that moment? I already watched his entire empire burn that he tried to build. You just need to make that decision. Whether you're going to go after him or whether you're going to try and bury the hatchet in other ways. Let's face it, Billy Joe just punched him in the face. He did it for a dumb reason, but I don't know. Go punch him in his face and be done with it. Do you think you need to do more for that, what he did? to but a part of me says it's not worth it I don't think it is everyone here has probably heard uh, Billy Boston's name once or twice right yeah <laughs> When that man first came to the crossing, he was working with Dead End Gang, the parlor house. He was just one of the guys behind the bar, something like that. Found out about two months later that he was only there because he was feeding information to other people about Dead End Gang and me. Dead End Gang put a bullet in, in him for it and he survived. But. I never really got revenge, so I bumped into him in the street one day. I wasn't even positive it was him. I asked his name, he told me, and I just punched him square in the jaw. I told him not to put me in fucking danger like ever again, and that was the end of it. And that guy was selling me out and snitching on me. Even I was able to just punch him in the mouth once and leave it at that. The longer you're here, there's going to be more reasons to get revenge, you know, someone kills someone you love, or... I don't know, something even worse. There's going to be a lot more reasons to do something more severe, but I don't think what he did is... Not worth going too crazy over. That's just my opinion there, you gotta decide for yourself. Spoke to Michael about it. Michael told me it's not worth it. Like you guys, Michael, is someone that I know I can trust. I just like I trust you guys, I trust Michael. When, before I joined the bond, I would go up to Mount Hagen and I would speak to Michael. And Michael would give me wisdom. Told me to follow my own path. So when you guys offered, you know, when you guys offered me to join, I didn't, didn't say yes right away. I'm glad I made the right choice though, joining you guys.
Well, you know, we got you back in whatever you decide to do. I know one thing. Revenge is something I cannot afford. I'm not gonna sit there and dig my own fucking grave. But I know one thing. I'm gonna kill these fucking wolves because they piss me off. Come here, you sons of bitches. Fair enough. Probably make sure he got the wolf and not the other way around. I see him, he's fine, he's just running around. A dead thing. I feel like I kind of. Oh. oh no, I think I killed him too much. Uber dead. What? Tibbs. Tibbs, help me hide the body. Huh? You gotta help oh, me hide the help body. Way, I'm sorry, I need... <laughs> okay. I need a moment. One sec, I'm sorry. Call them back up here. Yeah. What are you shooting at? What the fuck are you doing? Shooting the badger. I swear to God, it looked like you shot August in the fucking face. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what it looked like when I ran Why up Why is he running you. around down there like that? Because we're looking for you. We're looking for Hathaway. I that fired shots to call you guys back up here, yeah. I, I never That's left. why I came back up. I don't know I don't know why he's still down there. He's coming. She needs a moment. Okay, August. No, she's dead. Bleh. Oh, I hear wolves again. Again? Bang. Him. Yep, that was it. Oh, 
I have killed the great August Green. They will tell stories of my detective skills. For I uh. was a deputy marshal. Ha ha ha. What will you do now, Hathaway? I have taken the woman that you bed with. Bwah ha 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 ha. I have to I have to bury her before I can get revenge and everything, you know, this procedure. Oh, of course, of course. My apologies. Ah, to hey, hey, it was just a little bit. Oh, she seems to not be dead. Does she need a couple uh, more rounds? No, I think you got it. Bang, bang. Um, That'll show her. I protected you. Even though you're already dead. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was a really slow fucking reaction. Sorry, guys. That's all right. Oh, August said while you, you were good? gone. My wife can't die. No, she. Even if I kill her, she was very it again. dead. Ready, ready, ready. Let's do it again. <clears throat> I'm ready whenever you are. Bang. No. Bang. Too slow again. Okay. And now we leave her to the wolves. Hmm. Uh. Wanna give like a eulogy or something? Oh, okay, now she's good. Oh, wait, yeah, do it. Blech. Out of all the people I call sister which is only one other person. August was certainly one of them. Look at someone else. Um, okay, I guess that's all she gets. August died from bullets, like most people live here. Amen. I was gonna honestly just say, we have gathered here today I love to her say very our much, farewells she's not to, to die. August Green. No, oh, she's not allowed to uh, die. August, she's not allowed to die. Hey, yep. Hey, yep. Hey, yep. Let's home. change the rules. Yep. You got it, man. Alright, should we do what we were gonna do when Sam uh, had a headache an hour ago. Let's do okay. that. Uh, check telegram rooms. Check telegrams. There's a wolf. Oh shit. It's dead. And George has done at the mines. How long ago? Um, <clears throat> uh, not that long ago, like 10 minutes ago. I'm gonna tell him to meet us at the Cumberland Speakeasy. Okay. Yeah, Jesus you wanna head to the fucking Christ. What? Oh, we've already checked Cattail. Let's go and check Cattail again. What's going on? I'm not sure. Law shooting on a, sh on a shine run? What the fuck? Who got shot? Apparently, Billy Joe got shot on a shine run. You don't only do that if you draw guns on a shine run. They don't shoot at you unless you do first. I wonder who fucking shot first. Then. Fuck. Oh shit, George is right here. No fucking way. Hey, buddy. All the fucking ways. 
That was a good time, and we we're about to leave. Oh, fucking me. You all see that? The wolf? What? The wolf, yeah. The very friendly wolf? No, no, that's very the, dead. That's a very dead wolf. What the see, fuck am I seeing? See, look. Jesus. Yeah, uh, I lost the wager for Julia. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, the oh. time? I, yeah. Oh, what? Not yet. <clears throat> Not yet, George. There's still uh, a couple more. There's still you, Sam, and Jay. Oh, fuck. What Jay? What Jay say? I will tell you later. I think I have a good idea as to who's been. I was mining. Uh, I got a few precious gems. A couple nice. rubies, couple diamonds. Alright, cattail. Uh, yeah, let's do cattail. Mm. Add a telegram from Goggles to say in his ground if we need anything. Alright. Mm. What were we all up to? Uh, sitting there. I thought camp for about the past hour. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, just having a good yeah, time. We checked a couple of speakeasy phones. Yeah. Yeah. Tibbs read us a book. Oh shit. Uh, salt salt meat hole. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I had to. You thought we'd have another wager already, didn't you? Something, something beaver? We don't have another wager. This man didn't even get to one minute. <laughs> we probably should have put another wager on, but we didn't really we think about it. would have made a lot of money. That sounded like a big yawn, August. Mm, it was. It was indeed a big yawn. Tired? Do you want to go get some rest? Nope. I ran into the freeze and uh, tumbleweed. Yeah. How are they doing? Yeah, how are they doing? Oh, they seemed to be in a rush, so we didn't get a chance to talk. There was, uh. Oh, I forget their names. The. The two Australians. Jessica Sage. Sage. Yeah, Jessica yeah, Sage. Jessica Sage. Why do I think I'm a fucking idiot? There's another one looking too. Oh shit. Oh, who was it? Sorry. Do you know? <laughs> I've got to be honest, I haven't got a clue who Alice is. Did he have a beard? Uh, yeah. Like a beard like mine, or like a half of a beard? I, uh, I think a half of a beard. Probably Alice. Yeah, probably. I'm not sure I've ever met Alice. If I did, I've just forgotten about it. Okay. Oh, Wasn't he at the floor when we had that big, like, bike night thing? Yeah. Yeah. I, I still don't know. I don't recall. I'm 
being honest, I'm yeah, not left. I'm not feeling tired at all. So I might just be doing poetry jobs all night. Are you gonna pull it all night or? Uh, probably. Hmm? Hey, we'll see. One thirty two. <clears throat> There's a one thirty two. You feel like doing it? It's up to you. I could, there's plenty of us. <laughs> yeah, we can. Uh, my wagon's set up for it. I have a mesh on another horse, so <clears throat> I've got the shine already. We just need one mesh to make five extra bottles. Mm, uh, yeah, so I just need to get that mesh off uh, one of my other horses, and my wagon's already set up, so we're fine. Okay. Valentine. It Everyone is. up for doing a shine run? Oh, wait, your wagon's set up too, because you have all the shine in your wagon, so why don't we just use yours? Because it's all in a crate, it's not got packages or anything. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, so yeah, so we can hop on. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry? Are you talking to us, Sam? Because I can barely yeah, hear you. Yeah, oh. uh, where are we going? Which, which, I, what I'm, just, I'm just waiting for you to yell so that I can hear you. I, I've been yelling this whole time. I can't hear you. When, uh, when I was in Valentine, like when I woke up from Eden or whatever, there weren't any law in town except for Scrump who was laying on the ground with a gunshot wound. Oh shit. Who fucked my scrump? Uh I don't feel comfortable answering that. I don't I don't actually wanna kinda Who shot Scrump or do you not know? I do not know. I, I just oh, okay. kinda rode into town into that situation. Yeah. Fair enough. I just need to grab it out of my saddlebag so there's a different horse. Maybe you can get my wagon. You do need me to drive uh, to uh, the building for you. Yeah, then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll drive it for the run if you don't mind getting this to Cap Tail. Yep. While we're here, we think we can do payments? Oh shit, yeah, we didn't do that earlier.
I might have to take a nap. Change your plan. August with me. Morning. Go inside. Oh. Um. I bet we'll get out of here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's good oh, to see y'all. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, oh, the way. Yes, it is. How did John? What a lovely surprise. What if I just sit over here? I got shot earlier. Yeah. Well, hello, my new favorite friend. You need shot me? Shot you. Oh, oh no, the hag. Now she's dead. Oh, shit. Fair enough. No, <laughs> we are. We're good. So we are uh, gonna go business. clean some things oh. then. Oh, it's not the bank. Yeah. Oh, to, uh... I'm free to go then. Yeah, of course. Look after yourself. Alright, well. Don't think there's much to be negotiated in this particular situation. I suppose you could put your hands up real quick, oh yeah. Robin and then off you just gonna take it off your gun. Anything taken, uh, I'm sure we can return. Just uh grab it for now and give it back after. Don't use those knives. Yeah. I'm gonna make this easy, right? Just go there and get you to clean up. All right. Well, let's uh, have at it then. Uh, we could do mine. There you go. Let me go, uh, George. Let's go, George. Real entertaining. Do we, uh, do we need to cover or are we uh, she gonna behave? Oh, I'll behave. Oh, he's, uh, oh, he's gonna behave. I'm not stupid. For, uh, blackjack to be ready. Uh, I suppose. You let your steed away for you. You said George, huh? Yeah. Listen. All about the beavers. Yeah. You know me. Yes. Nice Wonderful. to see you again. Nice to see you. Just feels like uh, almost uh, two days ago. Yeah. yeah. You found Cisco to be a wonderful experience. I found it to be absolutely charming. It has some lovely appeal to it. I'm sure it does. Although a man was in there screaming about a badger, like a stuffed badger. I prefer beavers myself, but I mean, badgers are cool too, I guess. I mean, we, we are well acquainted with your interest in the beavers. Yeah, we are. And you're, you're about to be even more uh, informed about beavers. <laughs> Did you know? That beavers have... Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, guess she's got handed all you on a silver fucking platter. This is, uh, this is all on you, by the way. Whatever you want to do, I got your back. Seems pretty compliant now, she's not gonna be stupid, so it should be just as simple for Olya. Cameron, not so much. I don't wanna know. No, you, know. <laughs> you want me to elaborate? You want me to elaborate? Plus, I think uh, George right now is enough to enter. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, I'm still flat. Yep. I still didn't pay Sam. I kind of overlooked it. It's <laughs> best horse this soon. In case law finds us. Hmm. Best horses. Best horses. We all have very forgettable faces and names. I hope all y'all always remember mine. 
Yeah, 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 that's a chef, I guess. You know, I was the first person to arrest August. And she oh, yeah. was. Yeah. I was. You want to know who the first person was to arrest me? Was it me? No, it was. Uh, what was his name again? <laughs> August. You really nailed it down. Oh, uh, which one? I. He has, uh, fuck. He has like the deeper voice. Oh, Manius. Manius, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice memorable one. Me and him had a great talk about some fevers. Meat holes, all that. I, if I want the rest of my life never killed, but the meat holes, I'd be dead and Yeah, um, oh yeah, you're about to exhibit, you're about to get what we deal with every day. And, okay, uh, you know, <coughs> no, I've never been in the game, but I figure like, you know, you know what? I don't want to hear about your meat holes anymore. If you want to stay in the gang, then shut up about the meat holes. No, oh, they love it. I actually had a therapy session today about my meat hole and my meat and my beaver. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you learn anything about your meat holes? No, I kind of went feral on the therapist. We certainly learned It's alright. I got a follow up telegram to send to everyone about your session. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'd like yep. to read that after we're done here. Maybe you should read it for all the one too. <laughs> now some people like to like sing them and clean or whatever. I'd like to read oh, yeah. the telegram. Well, I'd then, have to visit a telegram station. Uh, you know, Wait, what, what is the telegram about? It's the follow up notes to George's session. <laughs> oh, you got one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got it. I, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna frame it on the wall in my meat hole. Have you ever heard the meat hole world theory? No. Oh, good lord. I thought you were going to tell the doctor. I did it. shows up, I will have no hesitation in shooting on him. Let's hope they don't show up. Unfortunately. Yes. Yes. It could be. I don't know if this is the good We got the boys. thinking. Sam. Yep. Nope, oh, watch it. Get out of here. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh, you alright? Yep. Oh, look. Oh, oh, think oh, you were just on this porch just 48 hours ago. Maybe. Maybe. Oh look, it's so nice and peaceful. Alright. Yeah. Oh, boys, I'm gonna need a bucket for Olya. 
some water in that bucket and scrub brush. I don't know where that is. Probably in the useless room of just old shit. Okay, I guess I'll get it. <laughs> oh, man. Great teamwork. The teamwork makes me work, they say. You know, for the record, I never shot anyone at this spot. This is where Hathaway was bleeding out. Uh, this well, is where I dropped him after uh, somebody shot him to shit on the stairs. Or, well, yeah. It just so happened that, you know, all I had was my shotgun up there, because... Okay, so the, the bucket was out of water. I'm going to refill it real quick. All right, there's... That's, um... All right, uh, so I'm going to get that bucket of water. Otherwise, it's going to be, be real hard to get out here. There you go. I'll get him. that water refilled. Oh, I don't know where he's getting water. <laughs> I mean, the water out directly out of here isn't exactly the greatest water, but I guess it'll do. Mm. Oh, he's not even going out. Oh, okay. All right, here you go. Perfect. Excellent. Love it. Love this for me. Okay. Love that, that for you. Probably cleaner than the water they got in Van Horn. <laughs> also getting to you is cleaner than the water that's directly outside. That's probably true. All right, let me just get this all soapy up here. All right, all right. Don't mind me. Put a little more sweat into it. I'm working it here. Jesus, you do need to let it soak a little bit too, you know. So I, I, I used to be good at cleaning. What do you mean used to? It, I mean, it was like a, it was a job for me for a little bit, you know. I was a professional cleaner. And now you're bad at cleaning? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you lose practice. You know, you got to put some finesse into the mop handle, you know. <laughs> That's why is this every the way you frame everything? Uh, well, yeah, that's what we deal with every day. It's you know, all right. Well, you know, I'm working it, I'm working it. It's yeah, hard to come out, it's been here for a couple days, huh? try to find you uh all day yesterday well i was busy saying goodbye to someone leaving the crossing forever so sorry <laughs> oh god i thought you were getting ready to spit on the ground here i'm not I'm not fucked up like that god damn <laughs> oh yeah you okay that's i'll leave that statement right there <laughs> Whenever you finish with this one, there's two more on the stairs. Alright, I think this is... Almost out of here, there. Forgot deputies in the little details. Okay, just a little bit. There we go, I think that... How's that look, huh? It's unclean. <laughs> it's, uh... One up on the landing. George, if you'd like to show him. I'm surprised you managed to get that out, all ya. It's quite a bit. I guess can I talk to you for a sec? Oh, 
Hey, I got a question. You thinking about bringing Tip? <clears throat> we'll see. Alright, just checking. What, you I think she'd make uh, a good fit. Okay, I was gonna say, you have any concerns? Nah. Nah, I like Tip a lot. Uh, I think she'd be real good with us. Okay. But we'll see. We do have uh, two new slots now. Yep. By the way, I'm just letting you know. Last time, uh, last time we took Olia, mm -hmm. I had her uh, her long arm. Gave it back to her. Shot half the way down with it. I think this time I'm gonna keep. Bring Hathaway. Are you sure he didn't die? Yeah. I wouldn't say I have much more of uh, who helped me and who saved me. No. Believe me, I say this all the time, and it's genuine. I don't want any side to have hurt people at the end of the day, but obviously when both sides are shooting at each other, what happens, happens. Do remember how we met, or you? I'm sure I've asked you before. Ah, you uh, rescued me from uh, in the orchard, huh? Wondered if you remembered or not. I think I... You've asked me before, and I forgot at that time, but you reminded me, and then it all came back to me. Yes, I remember. I was very new to that. was like my first week of crossing. Mm hmm You weren't even a ranger yet. Uh, I was, uh... I had seen the rangers actually taking care of the shadow of Lemoyne in that orchard. Mm. And, uh, and I decided why not, uh... Go hunting myself a little bit. All right. Oof. Oh, okay. Need some stew? Water? Uh, Not the last one. Jeez. Wouldn't mind maybe. Well, I've got some food on me, but I just need something to eat real quick. Here. Yeah, I, uh, I need to that temporarily. Just scarf this down real quick. Is All this right. a uh, rolled cigarette? Uh, some new vendor. He just started selling. So, uh, I hope it's good. Up this bucket. Oof. All right. Oof. Okay. Ah. Uh, yes. Remember this spot? Well, this is actually where an Oya went down. Some of this blood might even be mine. I forget. Was I the one that got you? And yet, you were already down i think it might have been mr um actually i'm trying to think i think dale and you were laying over there already when i came around this corner hmm. or maybe you were the one who shot me down and then you immediately went down i can't it all I happened think... very very fast yeah yeah it doesn't matter Would it be better if I moved out of the way? I mean, I'll just start here on these steps and work my way up. I got you. here I mean yeah 
And of what happens when you run up a stairs right into a shotgun. You have that shotgun? Oh, oh yeah. the gun that was taken from you, the shotgun. Or did you have a different long arm on you today? I did not. I it, Normally, that shotgun, I, be, I usually don't even have on me. It was pure luck that you all started robbing that bank when I just so happened to have it on me. But I Shame. do not have it on me yet. Mm -hmm. I'm quite fond of shotguns. Might have been a worthwhile souvenir. You know, the shotgun that put a hole in my throat. Now, I'm not one to take trophies like that, Hathaway. I don't uh, take pleasure like that. I mean, I might keep it as a trophy. Ah, the shotgun that almost killed you. Something like that. Oof, all right. Uh... <laughs> I think that's about it, huh? They repaired all these boards right here pretty well. This looked a lot worse that night. Well... Them up there, you can probably help fix. Yeah, here, come up here. Oh, gee, it's your. <clears throat> well, I mean, do you have any wood planks somewhere around here? To... Uh, some okay, hammers and nails. There's about any in the crates next to it. We've got wood in this crate, I believe. I was some hammers, nails, things like that beside that crate. Alright, alright. Okay. Oh, I'll go get your tools. All right. Oh, what, what, what? So, well, yeah, how bad were your injuries that night? Uh, not. I mean, I took a really good uh, graze to the uh, my shoulder that was sticking around the corner when. Uh, I guess it was George shot me. Got to walk out of here with just a little brace, huh? No, uh, I mean, I saw, I saw him around the corner, so I kind of was trying to get back, but he got the best of me. But that being said, I still. Picked up whoever I could, got them on the back of my horse, and got them to the roads as quick as possible to speak any injuries. Hmm. Making sure that, uh... the boys got seen, too. No, I mean, that was also the agreement, uh... For Jack and Sam to be able to leave so that we can get, uh, the injured medical help as fast as possible. Nice. Sorry for the noise. Start hammering this. It's okay. Not as loud as uh, the gunshots. No. Um, yeah, I certainly. Not my first uh, 
rodeo as it were here in the slaughterhouse, but usually I'm on the first floor trying to come up, not the other way around. The first shootout with Olya, she was downstairs and I was not far from where we are right now. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a creed right behind this little spot, if I remember right. A little bit further back, it was me and him holding the stairs. <clears throat> and once in a while, folks, including but not limited to Hathaway, would try to drop down into that uh, room with the curtain on the door, and I'd shoot them back up. The meat hole? It's quite literally the meat hole. Oh, is that what you call the meat hole? I thought here this was like a sexual euphemism. Oh, I mean, no. for Georgia, my favorite. Kinda, but, yeah, you know, it's it's, kinda, it's kind of both. Yeah, it's kind of both. When I'm talking about the meat hole, the, the origins come from the actual hole that's filled with rotten meat. Okay, it's okay. It's just all bones. I think well. that's where we're heading next, actually. There was a lot of shooting going on up and down in that spot, too. Like, you're around the... This looks better, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think so. <clears throat> That's acceptable, I think. Yeah. I see. Well. What, uh, where mm -hmm. to next? Was there damage? You know, check the, uh, the top of the meat hole. Meat hole? I finally get to see it with, like, actual context now. It's fucking crazy. What do you... You, don't you, like, pretty much stay here? I mean, why would you... It's so weird to be here. Yeah. Oof. So this is your meat hole, huh? And it is. I realize how high up this don't is. Don't fall. Medical bags are expensive. Yeah. Ah, that's... That is quite the meat hole, though. So when you come up and down this, you have to jump onto that ledge and then climb up and down this ladder? Yeah. This is... Honestly, this is my first time getting, like, to casually look around this building without, like, expecting someone to come up or down this way, so... Interesting. I didn't cover this uh, spot at all the, the other night, so... Yeah, I actually uh, was trying to get up here. But I believe the man with the very heavy Scottish voice, what accent? I don't... Sheriff, get me. Yeah, I got your uh, sheriff there was covering it real well. At least from all, yeah. Well, that's kind of what he does. It's a shame. I would have, yeah. uh, I would have liked to have a chance to shoot him. I'm sure I don't know you... what the meat hole's used for, oh yeah. Hey, we got lost. What's the meat hole used for? We got lost. How, inside? Uh, outside. How many? Right outside the gate. How many, Sam? How many? Uh, look to be about five, maybe six. What the hell are you guys? You up or down? Uh, Meat hole. Meat hole. Alright, I will try and talk them and distract them until you guys are done. Stall. Huh? Stall, please. Yep. Well, what needs uh, fixing over here, huh? I was gonna say my pride, but I think you might have just been saved, oh yeah. What, you can't finish your plans with uh, my friends just outside the doors? My plans are finished. <clears throat> your punishment was easy, at least from me. Whether anybody else felt the same, that's up to them. The classic 
I didn't say I was going to hurt you, but none of my friends said they weren't going to hurt you. That, uh, that old spiel. Make their decisions for them. Well, look out the way, what's it going to be? Do we need more bloodshed here tonight, or, uh... Jesus! find all yeah go. they want to help her or they want to fucking try and fight us We can stand out here, we can fight. We can go and help your friend inside. We're leaving. What did you do? What I had to. I mean, for somebody who right. wants to send a message that is merely a vague thing to say there, Mr. Hathaway, how about you own up to it? What did you do? I shot the person who shot me in the throat. All Dick right. Around. So right now, eating out. You can have it out with us out here, or you can go and save her. Clock's ticking. Tick, talk, tick, get out talk. of here. Your decision. No this way. Get out of here. Get out of here, you cowards! <laughs> Be seeing you real oh, soon. Pick up, pick up the pace. Saxton. Where's yeah. August? I'm, I'm, on your horse. Oh, I'm your horse. Yeah, let's get out of here.
Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go there. Resting horse. Resting the horses. Fuck, I should have done cool dynamic music for all of that, but... Did you shoot her? I did. Right. Smart play. Do what you had to do. I told her there was more damage at the top of the meat hole. While she was stood there, I hit her in the head with the gun and then shot her. She fell straight in. Well, revenge is a dish best served eaten. It's Pres George hasn't said something about his meat hole being filled finally or something. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay. You didn't like that. I'm assuming based on uh, the look on your face. Uh, no, I understood. Well, I understand. Sure you for what you need to do tomorrow. Uh, I understand why. Uh, how to say this? I understand why it happened. And if it didn't happen, I don't think we would have got out of there. I don't think so either. I think that was kind of the saving grace to get us out. Like I didn't necessarily have to go there. Maybe. Probably not. But... Rip, she just disappeared too. You nearly died on those stairs. I don't know. Did she go on the, the hut? Did she go on the hut? Oh, uh, maybe, maybe. I respect what you did, though. Okay, August. Hmm. Here he goes. That is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. I think I did not try it all yet. We probably would have had less of a chance of getting out of there. Yeah. Honestly, I commend you. That's a pretty smart play. You gave them a, a ticking clock, forced their hand. 
trying to do. Ow. Thank you, Rat. And, um, <laughs> Ow. The only way we've got out of there. Ow. That was a bad move jumping down. I didn't mean to. God damn, I didn't mean to jump down. What? I didn't mean to jump off this thing. Oh. And I, uh... What do you think she's thinking about? Are you all? Uh, you all right, man? <clears throat> she's fine. I noticed your lip has been like twitching and shit. You got some on your mind? It's been every once in a while since you got out of solitary. I noticed. Yeah. Are you, uh, doing all right? He's fine, George. I'm pretty sure I'm good. I'm okay. Call to me. What is to build a dam? <clears throat> George, you You're lost the wager. The old one first. Did? Yeah. Fuck. Ebbs. Yeah. You okay? I didn't. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. I just. It's just I the same, bad same when reason I, I checked on you. <laughs> something yeah. like that when someone else is around that's not involved, you know. I... Look, as I said to August, I understand why you did it. I understand it needed to be done. And I don't think we would have known of there if you hadn't. At least not without a gunfight. Yes, I suppose. Yeah. So, uh, it is what it is. I'm, I'm not bothered. Alright then. Just, I've had people with me when I've done shit before that I haven't been comfortable with it, so I just like to check. And I took a turn. We still didn't get the payout. I know, I noticed. I realized this was really no Valentine. It's fine. It's just one of those nights. Glad I got done mining when we did. Fuck. Should we, uh, should we set another campfire and tell some more stories? Hey, you got any more books? I was no, joking, I Sam. I think we're either. past it, right? How fucked up would that be? We just shot... No, I did. All right, it feels fucked up to me, but maybe, maybe I mean, we should, you know? Maybe we... I don't know. Why not? You know, there's a... a uh, if she there's dies, a, she dies, fuck it. There's a cellar over there? Yeah, we know. It would be very ironic if uh, the first time I ever met Oya was the week she arrived here and I saved her life be extremely ironic if tonight I took it. What, what do they call it? Divine comedy? Yeah. <laughs> well, I could say one thing. If we all go down, we all go down together. Not letting you go down by yourself on this shit. <laughs> 
All I'm gonna say is I'm beating my record, motherfucker. I'm not going in. Yeah, I was about to say, Julio, you're a real optimist, aren't you there, buddy? Jesus oh, Christ, no, I'm man. I'm gonna fucking fight. The fuck you mean? We all go down. How about we just never go down and we stay up forever? Fair, fair, fair. Good way, good way to, to, to work. Yeah. I don't like how slow that local is riding. Not local. Up here. It's definitely a local. Wait, is it not a local? No, it's a local. It, it's a local. Sometimes locals just like to go slow. Yeah, I hate that. I mean, yeah, it freaks it's a creep shit. me. Yeah, it's fucking. Feels like Zach, I was just here. Chef, Zoe. Maybe Gray. Um. And I think I, uh, and... I heard Gray on the outside. I think he was an extra. I can't remember that other guy, the one shaker bell. <laughs> I met him in uh, Arntine when we went there for the pig pen fights, right before we oh. took that guy to the hill. You mean uh, fucking? It's it's like it's like a made up. Uh, mar mar malarkey. 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 Yeah, malarkey. Malarkey. That's him. <clears throat> Think all. Look here? Probably. They might. need to go to spot. We'll wait here for a few minutes. At some point, we'll move on. If they do come here, be careful. Like, they can get some really good angles into those windows in the towers. Yeah. Also, all the goddamn dynamite. But we don't want to blow it up ourselves, because last time we did that, it took like 10 minutes to go off. Maybe we should be elsewhere. I'm not sure where, but... It's a mine. Mine's nearby. Hmm. We could go to that mine. They, uh, they probably wouldn't find us there. Mine's a good option. Let's go. Down to the Rono Gold Mine. To the what? Uh, the Rono Gold Mine. <laughs> ah! Careful. I'm fine. Shit, maybe I'll go mine while we're in there. Oh, good lord. Do you have a lantern? Does anyone have I a do. lantern? Yeah, I have a lantern. Okay. I always do. Sorry, tips. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any other books. All the other things I have are in Rhodes. The like uh, Slick Rick volume. Yeah, one. all of my books are in Rhodes. I have poetry that I've written, but I don't think anybody wants to hear that. I'm sure they probably will. <clears throat> Not everybody. Guys, we're going to intentionally take a road just in case. <laughs> the other option is that big old uh, cave system. That's a brown oak. <clears throat> if we don't want to sit in the mine, there's a cave system with like the wagons and fires and shit in it that used to be a mine. 
you know which one I'm talking about. I do, yeah. That one's an option too. I'm not a big fan of that place. Uh -oh. Where Alexi and Abigail tried to convince me to move the gang to after Van Horn. Okay. Right when they were set up to betray me. Probably put the horses, uh, hitch them up on the grass or something. <laughs> Hide out for a bit. Oh, my horse again. Need ammo too? No, I got some. Yeah, hit your horse over there. Mm -hmm. Hey, George, why don't you move your horse a little bit up towards the hill where Sam and I put our horses? Uh, I, I put his horse there. Oh, It'll be okay. fine. Buy me dinner? What? What? No, George. No. I'm not bending down anymore. Good. Wait, is does this go into the lesion system? Uh, yes, yep. this goes into the lesion pool cave. Well, let's not go that far there. Let's just stay down here. Well, this is home. For a little while at least. I hope everyone's boots are good, no holes and shit. I'm good. This water is toxic. <laughs> it's sulfuric. Kills all the fish down in butchers, so I wouldn't drink it. The van is really mining right now. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Well, he's making use of the time, I suppose. Uh -huh. Well, okay. We need like uh, a working actually, song to sing, George. Actually, right over here, this this is the table, right? Or do we, is there another table? No, this is the table. This is the table where uh, Hathaway and I opened our Mauser. It is. When we did that two-man oh, job in Valentine. Why do you have a bandana on? Because it smells like fucking sulfur and smells like shit. This 
smells like home. Wear a bandana in caves and mines. I don't have a bandana. You all think I did the right thing back there? Yes. Yeah. What? What? You questioning why? I don't know. You did the right thing. I mean, we got away. Like, what the hell? You did the right thing. <laughs> I could have just shoved her down the hall or tied her up and left her in there and told him I'd done something stupid just for us to get away. I didn't actually have to do it. Yeah, but then they'd go down there, they'd find her, cut her free, and instantly chase us. Yeah, that's true. Who gave us an opening to get out. To get out without them chasing us. I'll be honest with you, I just kind of saw red and decided to get my own back on all yeah. I didn't think of that until I stepped outside, and then I was like, okay, yeah, maybe that'll get us out of this situation. I think you're giving me a little bit too much credit for that. That fault came secondary. Mm, doesn't matter. You still did what you needed to do. people never seem to realize it often doesn't matter the intention what matters is the result of the action uh, I at least have another attempted murder charge hopefully none of you get burned to that that was my decision. I didn't even tell an AV. At the most, George and I might have accessory. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they saw me. I was talking to them, so I, I doubt they could try and pull some bullshit on me. You were outside when we did it. Yep. and Julia were downstairs and didn't know what was happening. <laughs> well, I just wonder if Julia has any memory. She knew the three people that were in there. Well, I don't know how law works around here, but often anyone involved is complicit in some way, shape, or form, so they may count that. I'll be sure to argue my damnedest, because it's hard to be complicit in something I didn't know happened. Well, you are different. But I mean, Julio and I were in there. Although I didn't know what happened, I thought one of you guys might have got shot. That's why we were looking for you guys. No, we took all of Olya's weapons so that they couldn't do anything. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> That's true, you were outside the bank when we did it. I didn't no. actually know who you had in the bank until uh, I walked <laughs> in there after. I didn't know. Hathaway comes out with his gun and he goes, August, I need you to come in here. And I walked in <laughs> and I was just giddy. I fucking giggled. <laughs> yeah, no, I had no idea what was going on, but you had your guns out. So I just stood out there kind of keeping watch. <laughs> the timing was just uncanny. Uh, oh, it was incredible. Yeah, no. This is my lucky fucking night. And then I realized what was going on, and Sam's like, "Are you sticking with?" And I was like, "Well, yeah." I think it'd be best if I held on to Olya's, just so that way they can't, you know, pin some bullshit on you. I. Do you... <laughs> I carry SCSD stuff all the time. Okay, fuck it's it. It's not fine. an issue. Fine, no, Sam, fine. Sam, I won't be Sam. nice. Fuck you. Sam, no. what kind of guns no. do you think the Pavi no. sell? Like all just good ones <laughs> bought from the shop? Fuck it, Sam. And there he uh, goes. Into the cave. Okay. <laughs> into the cave. Without a light. So, uh, Tibbs, everyone here is getting charged with that shit, so the guns belong to the bond, okay? Just, uh. Sure. Just a reminder. 
Wait, what do you what? I'm just saying, like, yeah, we'll, we'll probably take the guns at some point, just to. I I only have the the Lancaster, and I don't I don't care if okay. you take it. Oh shit! Oh, shit. You I just needed a long arm to use. No, that's all good. <laughs> that, that's yes, that's the if reason I have If you didn't have it. a long arm, then yeah, you can keep. If you don't have one, fuck it, you're gonna get charged for this as well. Yeah, that's. I just I didn't have a long arm, so yeah. Yeah, no, you <laughs> keep. I don't mind giving it, you guys. It's no. not an issue. Fine. I got a revolver on my horse, so. None of it was all. Uh, was it all just SCSD? Yep. Uh, the, yeah, this says SCSD on it. So that's a shame. I thought it was the shotgun at first, but Apparently, I don't know. Lancasters and shotguns look the same. Oh, you said they don't take that uh, except for specific reasons, or they just happen to have it on the day that we uh, were at the bank. Damn. Oh shit. We're, um, we're at least all getting kidnapping charges. That's mm -hmm. a guarantee. <clears throat> Is there such thing as forced labor charge? Because I think I'm going to get that on. I'm not sure. Maybe. <laughs> we're we're probably... going to get charged for making her clean. That might count as torture. We'll probably get a uh, brandishing for what we George's did in Rhodes. beaver facts will count as torture. You know what? We, we did give her. We did kind of give her a pisket to clean with. So. I'm sorry. My 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 hostage care is the best. All right. I was given beaver facts. I was you know I, I I've yeah. always I've always been good at that. Fuck. Was she uh was she receptacle Shh. to it? crashed. Hey guys, one second. I'm just gonna screenshot this real fast. Guys, one second. Every time I crash, I have to restart my Rockstar launcher, so it's gonna be one second here. Okay, Rockstar's not logging me in. Love that.
Okay, let's try signing in again. And this time it's logging me in. Should be able to log back in. My stream is about to take OBS is about to make me fully time out of the server, I already know. Am I incensed? Hello? Am I, I instanced right now? Do I need to relog already?
We're gonna have to relog. Try this again. Try this again. this again. We we all just Come had a we all oh just had a headache. Oh my god, so I couldn't see again. anything. I was just looking. Uh, Get out of here. No, I had a headache. Come uh, on, bitch out. Yeah, everybody except for me and uh. Hathaway. <laughs> I wait for Julio. Huh? I'll be back down in a second. Same. I, I can see the exit. I'm gonna go oh. bring the lantern down. You gonna wait for Julio? Alright, uh, I'll get Julio out if you wait for uh yep, George. There he is. Come All on. right. George is already out. Okay. Crazy. Everybody had a headache but me. Uh... Are you okay? Marcus? What? Are you seeing that? Yeah. All right. She's got the lunch and she can get out. Yeah, um, it's a weird headache thing. It'll pass soon.
that shit happened. Boogeyman, half alligator and the other half man. Son, don't go when you hear the call of the swamp water booger, the paralangua. Damn. What did I miss? The paralangua, apparently. You've oh, never that's... heard legend of the paralangua? So when you said that you had a headache, I thought that was that that's the that was the legend. <laughs> I thought it was like a curse. When you put a curse on it's... Yeah, because yeah, everybody I had a headache. It was, it was just me and Sam left right after you said that. Before you did some crazy magic. Oh now he believes in magic. I was making it up, I was just going. Well, we're heading out west. I like That's west, we west? That's what Hathaway was saying. Oh, no, okay. I hadn't, hadn't really floated it to the group yet, Sam, but... Oh, well. I think that uh, that might be our best option right now. They're going to be looking for us a lot out here. Maybe that's our best option. I suggested in the, what'd you say? Brandywine drop. Brandywine. Where's Brandywine? Uh, it's just Close north of here. I think the west might be the best bet, um, especially would. considering you spend a lot of time here. Exactly. Brandywine drop hotspot as well. They'll always check there. You got something in your throat, August. Ah. Uh, okay. You can hear us all right then. It's, um. Everyone else good with the West? I think it's probably our best stop. That's two. George and Julia. I'm by me. Yeah. All right. Like, like the Watson rest? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we'll take the tracks north of Annisburg like we did the night to get to Wallace. Um, it's better than going through the open areas that they might be searching. Do I still have fees? No, no, you, uh, you're uh, right. A little bit. All right. Uh, West Say more words. Best option. Yeah, you're good. Perfect. Okay. Right, we take X north of Annisburg, and we had. Uh... I hope your riding is with an earlier Sam. Look, that that was a one-time fluke. I promise it'll <laughs> never happen again. Uh, I need you the to funniest the part to me is that Jack the Ritchie has been giving me shit. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Let's do it. Good horse. I'm having some use of my eyes. Mind if I hop on? Gotta see where my horse is. Yeah, to hop on with you. Thanks for letting me ride with you, Sam. I hope of you're ready course. to crash again. It's always a pleasure. I normally have a feeling This is not my horse, apparently. Julio, your horse is over here. Right here. What the hell? Hey, can we at least stop at Van Horn to get, like, stews and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, this is so bad. I might. I'm just gonna raid Casper, guys. Um, just because my stream for now is working. I threatened to raid and end stream, and OBS starts working again. Whatever. 
If anything happens, let's not crazy and run and split up or anything. Let's just stand our ground, okay? What'd you say? If anything crazy happens, let's not all run off and split up, you know? Let's just stand our ground. Alright. While they're hey. talking, we'll try and come up with a... Uh, if we want to run somewhere. Did, uh, did Dre ever show back up? Nah, I didn't no. hear anything from him. That's been uh, lately though, as so I'll say, he needs to go and he'll be back in a couple hours and doesn't come back. insulted me. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get gas here, so this is gonna keep happening. Alright guys, sorry for the abrupt every time I every time I throw into end stream. That Alice. Mm. Howdy Alice. Just had to stop by for some stews. Uh, say hello to any of the others for me. It's half away by the way. Oh yeah, I was gonna say you changed your hair. Yeah, uh, Sissica gets cut it away. Ah, classic. Uh, I was shot in the throat trying to work on my injury and hair was getting in the way. I see. Well, good to see your sloping kicking. Just about. Uh, head out west for a bit. I may have just got my own back for the lawman that shot me in the throat, so we gotta make a move. Wonderful. Good luck. Have a good night. Stay safe. You, uh, you see Harry Teller, Sam says thanks for the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, you know you're from last one still. Okay. Tracks. All the way to, uh, Wallace. I can't tell if it's him having issues or me.
Oh god, what is happening in there? This is terrible. Check telegrams real quick. And that's this uh, guy I'm waving me down. down. Ow! You okay? Yeah. It's really not important. Sorry. I'm gonna quick check. Anyone have a rope? Yep. Tie tips up for on the back of the horse. Just so we can keep moving. <laughs> I'm tired as soon as she's uh, feeling conscious. Like that. Oh, oh. And George has got it. George's got it. You're just gonna have to get a uh, cool out sound as soon as oh Tibbs wakes up. So Don't forget to grab her hat. <laughs> okay, let's go. Good, we're on the tracks, fine. I uh, have a very strong feeling that Tim should be okay with this. And would That's have good. wanted us to do we're this. Fine. <laughs> that she would have wanted us to do this and be okay with it if she, you know, was very deep in thought suddenly. Swat your bees, please. Tibbs is okay with it. As long as she doesn't blame me for this, I'm fine. It was Michael, blame me. She's not on the back of your horse, Hathaway. I'm telling her that you tried to kidnap her and we couldn't stop you. Please, please don't. Probably. Oh, you don't know about the mayor.
Sorry guys. Um, uh, because this lag keeps happening, I am gonna raid Casimir. Um... Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be real bad. I gotta... I, I can't. Um, we're raiding Casimir just because, obviously, he's streaming everything that's happening. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for stopping by, thank you for the subs, thank you for the follows, and I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. I'm just gonna wait for that raid to go through. Don't tell me, of course, now it's all working properly. Yep. Okay, we're still gonna raid. Goodbye!